Thank you, Haas0032. Or uh, 0312 underscore. Thank you for the follow. Sorry about that. We're, we're still doing setup, so thank you so very much for the follow. Hey, Asphodel, thank you for the raid. Welcome, uh, welcome, welcome, and welcome everybody that came uh, with her. Uh, I'm still kind of setting up, running a little bit behind today because I had to set up some extra shit to 
uh, counter Twitch's current problem that's been happening lately. I like I I have a I have a kill button ready to go, but it's not perfect. So there will be a lot of me going. Oh, I hit the kill button. Better. It's rush to deal with the other shit. But yeah, we'll we'll be starting here in a bit. Uh, there's a few things that I want to talk about on top of uh an extra little thing that I recorded. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Outside of the stream to demonstrate a few things that'll be funny. So give us a moment here. Yes, that is absolutely Morgana. They added Morgana to Super Monkey Ball. You're on mute, by the way. Uh, yeah, they, added, they added him, and for some reason, there's a weird subset of people who are really upset whenever Persona 5 gets uh, so much as mentioned, and uh, people are mad that they're given the chance to throw him down bottomless pits, I guess. Yeah, it's, I, th I think it's dumb. I'd be happy. I, honestly, I'm just happy that the cat's even in the game. I haven't even uh, fully played through Persona 5, so, but I'm... I'm still happy that you can just have a Persona character in the game. Not to mention, they already put Sonic and Tails. They put Beat from Jet Set Radio and... Which uh, that's cool as fuck. And uh, Kiryu, of course, from uh, Yakuza, which has basically all but become the real uh, mascot of Sega at this point, let's be real. Yeah. So, and then they put the Persona character in and people are mad for some reason. I don't get it. People, they have no reason! couple of things that need to still be plugged in that I haven't plugged in yet. As, punct as punctual as usual on a uh, Wednesday. Super on time as always. Yeah. Hey, there we go. That's fine. We're plugged in. Okay. Well, we're close enough to the uh, uh, on time mark. So yeah. So first things first. Uh, I believe next week is going to be September 1st. And while I would love to not stream in support of that uh i am gonna address this very directly with a very uh serious tone here uh that's not gonna do anything for twitch uh what people should really do and this was uh quote tweeted by uh kai or as told by kai uh from another streamer is to go after twitch's sponsors Get get them where it actually is going to hurt. Put the pressure on Twitch, put the pressure on the sponsors, and uh, yeah, like show your support by letting Twitch know extremely vocally, like people have done to YouTube with their sponsors, and actually go where it hurts, where something will be done. Like if you're not if you're not going to stream on September first, that's perfectly okay. Yeah, more power to you. Genuinely, if you if you have the ability to not do it and not be hurt by it fucking do it yeah but like, I, i'm unfortunately gonna have to say that i'm gonna still be streaming on september 1st mostly because i it breaks the pattern of it. and this is also not saying that one method is better or yeah. worse both of them are well it's it's to do with the fact that there's been a growing prevalence of hate raids specifically against yes. uh uh, you know, people, streamers who are, you know, people of color and all that sort of thing, and there are people who want to take a stand against it because Twitch has been notoriously slow to respond to these sorts of things, and they gave a, resp a, a canned response about, streamers have all these tools to deal with it, even though those tools don't really do anything, and when the Twitch gaming uh, official uh, channel actually got hate rated, they went into emote-only mode. Which didn't help, turns out, by the way. Because depending on uh, what emotes are used, that actually can make matters worse. <laughs> which were which now that Twitch has done that to a hate raid, uh, there's a good chance that you know 
that like whoever's man doing uh managing these hate raids is going to get a new method that's going to make it even worse so something needs to be done like if people sort of like you say if there's uh no wrong answer really here and how people want to express and just make it known hey this is fucked please stop doing this like if you want to just not stream or if you want to stream but try to be loud and make sure people know that this shit is happening and needs to stop both of those still work because both of those at the end of the day are still people working to get this shit nipped in the butt yeah all righty so and with that uh i gotta get boot the game here so there's gonna be some interesting things going on for today's stream uh, I did some off-stream grinding. I'm gonna put that out right now. Mostly just to obtain all of the weapons that we were presently missing, except for one. Yes, but also, whenever the game boots, always promising when the game's just a white screen for an extended period of time. Uh, always fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so. Okay, that's good to go. I'm gonna tab on in to that. And yes, I do have hashtag Twitch do better now on the frame because, you know, I'm hoping that's not a, a hijacked hashtag right now, but, uh, which I have to unmute the main mute bod kill that. I have a bunch of switches now, which is awesome. Cause you that have a bunch me- of kill switches to engage. Yes. Uh, so there's something I have to do, uh, prepare first because, uh, before we do anything, there's some bonus footage that, uh, is going to be without commentary. Well, we're, we're going to comment over it, but I didn't record any audio cause I forgot to set that up properly and oops a daisy, but who cares? He already sees what I'm bringing up on. Uh, on YouTube, and I gotta find a clean one. Oh boy! Is it, is it Gilva Sunner, or is it Silva Gunner? Oh, oh. Which which one's the correct one? That's not a. I don't remix? remember. Uh. You really should have looked this up beforehand. You know, I should have. All right, well, that'll do. Okay, so. Just just run with it even if it's crusty. Fuck it. Yeah. So, I did some off-stream grinding, and we now get to talk over that. So, uh, I'm going to do a, a quick windowed projection. Grab that. And... We now get to see, like, so for scale, this is how fast the uh, robots were to the point that I was standing around and killed two of them in mere fucking seconds. Did it, it, also, the small amount of damage that it does. And yeah, that's that's pretty much how fast we have. Uh, Once again, I will say the, yeah. the fucking stat scaling on level ups in this game is a little nuts. Yes. Also, the amount of materials that we that I had going so far was pretty fucking uh, ape shit. I think I maxed out like two of the materials that you can get exclusively here. Did you even do two of the side quests that are specifically turning in materials from here? Uh, no, those are those will be done probably either that uh next ending or well they're not necessary it's just like you could have done them to get some extra cap <laughs> i'm gonna steal that fucking drink out of the fridge <laughs> that was a specifically targeted attack at me and i'm not happy There's a reason why I put up Groose's theme. <laughs> Did you even get any of your weapons to level four after all this? Uh, we're shy like uh, rusted clumps. That's it. So no. 
we just need like one rusty clump and I, and I was doing it for like a good hour and a half and I, and I was just like you know what I know a spot that I can do it that I'll probably get it real quick because I distinctly remember the desert being like the worst possible place to do it it's the only place to do it unless no, you do the DLC no you can actually do it we're gonna do that right quick here all right show me but uh we're gonna we, it can be done way the fuck and, and what's you think about it it makes sense considering a few things but i i love that we literally uh, like i i served that with Gruz's theme in the background and then it like i was waiting for it for it to pop up for me to just do the dark gluttony sp the spam like i normally do and just your response absolutely delivered mm. <laughs> so uh you can actually get it from here as well at be actually much easier odds i can't wait to max this fucker out yeah no i saw a video of this bitch at full power and oh my god the swing range why do you think i was so emphatic on we have to max this fucker out before it, before we end this playthrough yeah no we're going to we're going to trust me this this will be this will be a talking point and then people are going to get mad because we use one of the best one of the better weapons in the game and that's somehow carrying us and being unfair yeah no oh, i think it was a that pulls the bait that, do you want me to elaborate on that one? Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, that, that's specifically a thing about how apparently people are still mad about those old uh, Two Best Friends Plays videos about them playing Soulsborne games. Yeah, I don't... There are people who are still mad that Pat used Ludwig's Holy Blade. This fucking... Oh my god, these guys like literally cruised up and were like, Hey, I see you're fishing. <laughs> How about I do something about that? <laughs> I see you're trying to prove a point here. Perhaps we can help by making you unable to do it. I mean, those boys up on the cliff seem to be passive. They're chilling. Let's give it a whirl. Yeah, I'm going to ignore them real quick. I'm trying to remember how to fish it again because I don't do it enough in this game, even though I did it for like a good hour and a half. You, you pull back when the bob goes down. Yeah, so there's a thing uh, where you get false uh, snags. Yeah, yeah, I know, where sometimes you have to pay attention to the rumble. Which this controller does not have rumble. Oh. And it's a rainbow trout. We need that anyways. So this has a slightly higher odds than uh, the, uh, uh, the desert river. But you can get rusted clumps from here at a better odd set. But you also get fish for a fishing list. I mean, I'm only seeing the rainbow trout so far. Yeah, no, I don't know what's going on with that. I looked it up. <clears throat> it's supposed to be fucking... Was just, it for this version specifically or was it the old version? Uh, this version specifically. Okay. And it's a third rainbow trout. I mean, at this point, we're, we're almost at the quest at that, at that point. The whole reason, you you know the whole reason why I stopped doing uh, fishing for rustic clumps, right? Uh, be, Because of the, because of the ones and done tugs? No, because uh, I was grinding fishing in 14 at the, uh, that same time. Yeah, fishing's fucking easy in 14. I don't get it. I, I'm tired of fishing. Speed. Oh my god, I just noticed. Emil, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I might be doing the wrong bait. Hold up. I'm gonna try sardine once and then we'll carry on and do uh, the DLC real quick. Yep. We'll, we'll finish up the last the last kill room of that. And it's an empty can! So, fun fact. The reason why I got tired and I'm now remembering the reason why I got so tired of this is because I was getting Buckets and but hey, Emil uh, Kyger said he's still excited for fit uh, about fish. Oh, uh, that's that's me botching there. That went down and stayed down. Missed the bucket. Put your balls in his mouth. 
but uh yeah when i was doing the fishing in the river it was nothing but this over and over and over and over and over again and it was really fucking annoying except it was buckets you want to know what's funny by the way in a little and a slightly fucked way buckets are still necessary for upgrading a specific weapon well we got plenty of those already i think you need 10 of them to upgrade one of the tiers of the iron of uh of prologue near's iron pipe yeah we are uh, i can guarantee you we already have 10. oh well, we're going on 11 now yeah no we were we were past 10 already <laughs> do not put the balls from mr bucket in his mouth you will kill him <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he had it coming. Mr. Bucket was involved, committed several war crimes that he has to live uh, the rest of his days in regret for. That's why he's effectively become a weirdly, a weirdly proposition children's toy now. That is his penance. Also, we're just getting nothing but empty fucking cans and buckets. It's like we're fishing in the Hudson River at this point. Yeah, that's actually weird. It's almost like maybe people got the junk items conflated. Okay, hold up. No, I'm I'm looking this up because we're literally one rusty clump shy, and that's not gonna be this entire stream. I, I I assure you. You want me to tell you something, or you want to hold off on it? No, go ahead. You can get rusty clumps from uh the DLC map. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. That's my fucking payback for all of that, huh? Yes, it is. Okay, that was a medical herb. Why do you have, like, pixel health? What the hell happened to you? Well, <laughs> most likely the answer is us, but... Not us, them. All right, well, let's go ahead and knock out that last DLC and we'll have 100% of the weapons. And I am going to, uh, also Kagura saying, when I was young, I tried doing that and it destroyed all the, all the mechanisms and he threw his medical, uh, threw up his me me medical, mechanical insides. I thought it was hilarious though. That's kind of morbid. <laughs> oh. Also remember, it's not a war crime if you win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the? What was that Bo Burnham bit again with the sock puppet about how the world is built in blood? Yeah, it really is, and there's nothing we can do about it. We can complain about it all we want, but unfortunately, that's just. Well, no, we can do stuff about it. We just by, gotta, by just not building. It's just gonna take a blood. long, hard fucking road to do so. Yeah. The diary again? Yeah. Lately, I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. The world of the recycled vessel. Get to more of that in there. Yup. He he is a king. I wish I had some friends. That oh. <laughs> I wish I had friends. Papa near is slowly walking in. Log on the Facebook. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll spit false information at you. You'll be fine. No just, wait, just because ignore it. no wait, the apocalypse happened in uh 2003 in the timeline, so he would have been suggesting aim. <laughs> oh, that's even better. Also, yeah, no. History is written by the victors. That is history is written by the victors. Man who <sighs> wanted the man who man who was upset the Irish weren't dying quickly enough. Yeah. Like Facebook. You mean Vice? I use Facebook. You mean Vice? <laughs> That's great. I will not be referred to as some simple face on a book. Also, I'm not Mark Zuckerberg. So long as this memory exists, so long as mankind has hope, a bloody battle will remain over domain of the body. Ooh. Yeah, I mentioned- I actually like this color filter. Yeah, it's just more or less the normal color filter anyway, just a little washed out. It's Breath of the Wild filter. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was going to say it's fucking PS4 Xbox One shooter color filter. No, because it's too colorful for that. It has to be a lot of brown. Oh yeah. You know the weirdest thing is there's already been shooters that did brown better, and and it's called Quake. Yep. By the way, go play Quake Remastered. That that it's amazing. The physics is actually fixed in that game. 
as somebody who used to play a lot of Quake, the physics is fixed. Well, you played the shareware version, but that's whatever. It, potato, potato. It, it was still Quake. It was just yeah. like, because remember, the shareware was literally just, hey, we're going to compile all of the best levels of the game in like this one free disc to sell you on those other less good levels. And what's, yeah, uh, what, what, which is really sad because I, I got the, I got the deal with that. Uh, or relive that because uh, I should be actually stopping for a second here because it's here that we can fish, I believe. Have you heard about Splitgate? Uh, Splitgate, yes. Actually, I, uh, one, of, one of the streamers slash YouTubers that I watch plays a lot of it. Is it here that I could fish? Uh, no, I don't believe so because this is like a DLC or no, you can you can fish in some of the DLC areas actually. What? Yeah, there's apparently things you can get here that are very easy. That's actually one of the methods to get Damascus steel. Huh. Mhm. Mm that I didn't fucking know. Okay. Oh, uh, also heal, 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 heal. I'm good. You are now. What oh I man, need to it's do. so satisfying to see the fucking giant thing pop those purple bubbles too. Yeah. Because guess what, Dark Gluttony doesn't do. Yeah, it doesn't pop purple bubbles. No, it just pierces and has a uh, defense debuff, apparently. Hey. I looked it up. They have defense debuffs. Dark Gluttony does. Mm. If you max it out, it just d d like tanks their defense. Yeah, as if they weren't already dying fast enough as is. Yeah, we're kind of at a point where that's useless. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I've debated on playing Splitgate at some point on stream. Because like, I actually like the, everything behind it. Or you could play Dusk and have Dave Oshry show up in the comment section to give you shit for playing it on a gamepad instead of keyboard with mouse look. You joke about that. No, I know for a fact he did that with Pat. That's why I'm making the joke. I'm fine. Also, once again, this de this Devil May Cry ass remix of Bluebird. Yeah, no, it's a super good theme. Sounds like some shit that would play in three in between like fucking Leviathan Heart and, uh, and a actually better boss than Leviathan Heart. <laughs> Leviathan Heart and literally anything. Yep. As somebody who literally went through Leviathan Heart and hated it. And you had a pretty good first run of DMC3 compared to some other people I know. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you didn't actually, I think you actually didn't have a single wipe to Virgil. No, I had no wipes to Virgil. Uh... I, and I deliberately, I actually deliberately unlocked easy mode early on just to have that shame not happen on me. But, uh... How can you say it's not shame when you already unlocked easy mode? Oh, fuck off. I didn't want it interrupting me getting to a point where I am going to have a goddamn it, goddamn no, it moment. No, that's fair. You want to know what's funny, though? Apparently, I forget who it was, but someone I watched who played DMC3 for the first time, you know how they wound up getting the easy mode is now unlocked message? How? They died to chip damage from one of the barriers. Oh, that's lame. Also, I'm pretty sure I probably shouldn't have hit these boars. No, you should, because guess what? They are specifically coded to insta-kill all the shades they charge. Oh, cool. So they're just upset now. So you can so if you can lure them into the trash mobs, they will insta-kill everything, and you can pick up the healing items off of them. It is a legit strategy to clear this room faster. Otherwise, just wait until they eat shit against the wall and go ham. Yeah. They do have to die eventually, though, right? Yes, they do have to die as okay. part of the challenge map. It's almost like the developers know about just how absolutely fucking terrifying boars are in this game. Boars are terrifying in general. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, but this game specifically. I've been pinned. Oh, my God. What I the have fuck? Been pinned. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a three boar pileup. Oh, that's going to be a fun little... There we go. Hey. Why are you not attacking the boars? Oh, I was letting them take care of the shades, but I guess the boars have to die eventually. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The boars and the shades both have to die. So that means I need to switch to this. There you go. Carve yourself some fucking fat back off of that. Oh. Ah, uh, they don't hurt that much. Yeah. They're just annoying. It, it's just the fact that they come in... That is the fact that there's three of them coming at you at once. There you go. I can't not see Papa Nier and not see only using big swords because it just works so fucking well for him. Seeing him doing the fucking shadow dodge as well. 
Like, even in the original with the janky combat system, he was still surprisingly agile for such a fucking wall of meat. Ah! Play Quake 4 and experience weird cybernetics and body horror. Oh, yeah. Quake 4 is wild. I wish they did more Quake 4 because, like, what? that game, I'm fine. I don't even mean the part where you get turned into a cyborg. I mean, like, all the other shit where they literally take people apart and be like, oh, hey, human organs are good at this thing. Why don't we just use that? Yeah. The uh, enemy faction that uh, becomes canonized in Quake 1 at the end, uh, specifically Dissolution of Eternity, is the transition to 3, by the way, or 2, by the way. Uh, you get, like, the weird, uh, it goes from, like, Elder Horror, or Eldritch Horror to sci-fi yeah. uh, space aliens and shit. It's weird to look back on the older versions of those games specifically and think that id wanted them to be more horror-themed when they wind up being remembered as more, like, big fun adrenaline shooters and then they tried to do a yeah. horror game with doom 3 and people are still having debates over that one so then they return to the roots with 2016 and eternal and people are mostly happy about that yeah first fucking item boxes in are you Club. serious <laughs> <laughs> oh i am so actually upset right now <laughs> Silver, copper, more rusted clumps. Yeah. Well, I mean, that saves me time. And you want to know it's even fucking funnier? Even if you eat shit and die, you still keep those items on death. Oh my god. So we see what's great is we have the rest, uh, the rusted clumps we need to finish the weapon. Yeah, and you want to know what's really great about this room? Because of the hidden feature of the great swords, you swing way faster when you hit, uh, when you get a 30 hit combo. So this room is fantastic for this fucking sword and I love it. Uh, you might want to use some medical herbs because there's like a shit ton on the floor. I usually just ignore them, but... I mean, you have a full inventory and they're not going anywhere else. They're going to despawn. Yeah, I'm just going to let them despawn because we're, we're full inventory and we're full HP oh, box. now. Woo! I think you can go through that door. No, not that yeah. door. The other door. What other door? Oh. This? Yeah. There's some boxes. Also, zone, zoning out is just, it's just your brain de-stressing, by the way. Don't, don't like, treat it as completely abnormal. Only if you do it freak, only if you do it so frequently that it starts hindering your, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Zoning out just means that you have learned that, uh, cringe is another fucking buzzword people are throwing out to feel good about themselves by putting others down and don't worry about it. Because they're the ones who are truly being cringe, and that's super fucking cringe. Am I the one who's cringe? Am I gonna lose subscriber? <laughs> did you see that? That actually ties into one of the latest fucking shorts Gianni did where it's literally that fucking DreamWorks face, uh, whatever the fuck face, and it's... The whole thing is just constantly panning out with like a fucking Mobius strip effect going, I have hidden myself under so many layers of irony, I don't even know who I am anymore. Oh god, help me. Try to get the knockdown on this fucker. By the way, that can be animation canceled. Also, uh, yeah, the straw, uh, they, they literally just go from planet to planet harvesting orga uh, organic life to make more cyborgs and machines and food. And shit. Yeah. Yeah, the straw are fucking weird, but they're like probably one of my favorite, uh, just general sci fi alien enemies. It's, it's weird to think that, uh, part of that came from the fact that, uh, for as good as it is, Quake wound up the way it was because of a. Uh, internal difference between id. One side wanted to make like a fantasy, uh, dark horror or whatever, like, uh, MMO or something, and another side wanted to make another Doom successor. And because the projects were sort of troubled and they wound up constantly updating the engine and shit, they wound up, uh, merging the two into effectively the same game, and that's how we wound up with Quake. And because of the difficulties from that, coupled with constantly putting the game off to rework it, redo the engine, etc, etc. It led to a lot of infighting and uh, disagreements within id and the and seven of the original 12 team members just left, including John Romero, who then went on to make Die Katana, which... Mm. Oh, also fun fact, uh, the version that we got... Excuse me, the, the remat, I'm popping my fingers, which is why we're paused by, right now, by the way. Uh, the version of Quake that we got just recently has uh, 
the full version of a few incomplete levels that caused Romero to leave. Huh. Yeah, so he's re he he's already on Twitter to be uh, really happy that he finally gets to see those levels in the game. Like he wanted them to. Like I know there were a couple that had like the entrance ways removed and stuff because there was some specific mandate about certain uh, size size caps on maps. Seems we have been shut in. And yeah, considering just how influential Quake and the number of game mods that it had was on first person shooters by and large, in the long run, yeah. It just kind of sucks that, that that's uh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into that game. And hopefully they can look back and feel happy for it. Oh, John Romero is like ecstatic right now. And yeah, it, uh, Tugger is saying Quake made first person shooters. It literally to be did. It, yeah, like it did. Every fuck, like pick a game mode that is in a modern first person shooter and it started, and there is a 9 out of 10 chance it started as a Quake mod. Which is going to be great because they're uh, adding as many Quake mods to the remaster edition as yeah, possible. Yeah, they added all the uh, third-party expansion packs in as standard, including a new one. Uh, no, uh, Scourge of Armagon and Dissolution of Eternity were official. Official slash unofficial. Uh, and the other two that they added were done by the developers right. of, of Wolfenstein. Yeah, one, yeah, they were by Machine Games, right? Yes, and they're just flat out brand new. Or at least one of them is brand new. One of them was done on Machine Games uh, downtime. See, your mistake, Lady of Asphodel, is assuming that people are actually playing Destiny 2. All these fucking rustic clumps. I am kind of upset right now. This is what we call a shaggy dog story, ladies and gentlemen. We're just all that effort. It's just like, yeah, you literally just could have run in here and done it. I'm so sorry. No, I shouldn't say that. That's too fucking... I'm sorry. Oh my god, I forgot you could get eagle eggs from here! For, for the record, Destiny 2's not that bad of a game. It's just very mismanaged. It's just that the balancing is really shitty. Like, everything to do with sunsetting. Yeah. And for the record, I do occasionally, rarely, but occasionally play Destiny 2. So you're like... He's saying this in presence of somebody he knows not so actively plays Destiny. Uh, I am, like, full disclosure, I, I make it known when I'm genuinely shitting on something. Otherwise, nine times out of ten, I'm just choosing chaos. Yeah. And yes, it is grindy. That's one of the big reasons why I stopped, because I was on, I, like, I was burnt out on grinding at the time. Yeah. Not to mention, you have a way lower grind tolerance than I do, where I'll just I be like... I used to have much higher for some reason. Well, whereas compared to, like, when we were doing Dragon Quest uh, 3 for, st for stream, I was just like, hey, let me borrow your Switch. Uh, okay, and then I return it, like, 10 hours later. Yeah, I'm done. I've killed... I've committed genocide on, like, a whole region's population of metal slimes. I think we're good. Oh, I need to dodge that. That's the spin. That's, that's the unblockable spin move. There was something I'm supposed to be using against these guys specifically. I read I I, I read that when I was just looking through the effects for live. It's apparently a uh, magic piece that just rips through these guys like it's nothing. I think this was it. I want to say it would have been Dark Hand because that's a massive shortwave uh, punch of damage. It might be. Not to mention, I keep saying we need to use Dark Hand more and, we, and you never do. We'll be using it here soon. With how tanky these guys are, I would hope so. Oh, yeah. No, these guys definitely... The worst part them. is you don't even get experience points from beating them. You only get it from completeting the full challenge set. Also, uh, Kagura saying... Uh, I stopped you're, playing you're Destiny 2 due to Kagura. the grinding and also for the same reason as uh, 14 the first time around. I joined to play with some people I'm no longer friends with, and they never actually start joined in to actually play anything with me. Oh, Kagura, I forgot to, uh, forgot to ask. Are you in for... Uh, if I can still do it due to upcoming job thing, which will be talked about at the end of the stream, by the way. Uh, if, if I'm still good on Friday, would you be down to doing some uh, some mount grinds on stream? Uh, if I can do it, because their main is on a whole different data center from us, first of all. They do have a character on Crystal, but I don't know how far that character is yet. Okay. I thought they were on... Crystal? They have an alt on Crystal. Oh, okay. 
All right, is that everything? Oh, one more straggler. I mean, if, there, if there's nobody play, uh, if he's got nobody playing on uh, Aether, he can move. Oh, yeah, shit, that's right. Crystal is a preferred uh, data center now, so he could transfer over for, like, no cost. Yeah, if, if, you, if, you, if there's nobody on Aether that you're playing with, you can transfer over to us. Like, now we haven't wondered all the weapons. Yep, Fool's Accord. Which is yet another Draken Guard one themed weapon. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Wait, did the achievement not pop? I swear we had all the weapons. If it popped, we can't see it right now. Oh, oh, okay. Because sometimes uh, achievements will pop without uh, showing. Yeah, that's something that I definitely, that fucking makes me roll my eyes is talking with people who constantly, like, for as much as there is a running joke of me going, but it's not optimal or but it's not efficient, at the same time, I don't take it so far that I'm one of those people who will look at people playing Final Fantasy XIV and go, okay, no, but racial stats can make a big difference, though. Those extra 10 points per every damage tick can actually add up in the high tier ratings. Please shove those people in a fucking locker it's not if even you meet like them. It's not even 10 points, which is even worse. It's like... It's also not going to be 10 fraction. points after the number crunch. Well, no, it's it's not, it's not even 10 points. It's like a fraction of a single DPS. And if, if your rate is literally hinging on a, on a fraction of a single DPS, you have bigger problems. Yeah. I, I hate people who allow themselves to just constantly be, just go on and on about the meta as if it's the end all be all. Like mother motherfucker, this is Copper Bell Mines, not not Eden EX, or or not fucking uh, ES8. On the ground. There you go. That's not a kill shot, unfortunately. No, and the, ar if, the if armor it, gives a certain degree of damage resistance, I think. And unfortunately, if uh, it doesn't kill them, you can't cancel out of the animation. But you do get some good fucking knockdown on that on that overhead swing. God damn. Woo! <laughs> Just like, knock that shit off right now. Nah, this ain't Toho. Fuck that. Come off with that shit. Oh! Wow. He came in with a fucking punch. You see that shit? Yeah, I did them acrobatics Woo! good one ah, okay okay Whoa. camera 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 Ca camera's being camera's being fine this guy needs to go and he's gone <laughs> he got spared for a little bit yeah L glances over at this game remembers 10 years ago yeah i don't know what the fuck was going on with that but that was kind of cool Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, boy, is it. They were like, pin him! <laughs> Just doing the fucking Vegeta strat. I love that they don't actually address it, but in nearly every iteration of him in some video game, he has that move early on in, like, the Saiyan early Namek saga, where he just fires a shitload of key blasts. I think he even has that in the fucking action RPG Kakarot. Uh, yeah, he, he, he actually teaches, I believe he teaches you it, you it in uh, Xenoverse. That's well. fucking amazing. Like, uh, I actually went out of my way to learn it because it's apparently good on Majin uh, ca uh, characters. Okay, now does he teach you how to completely and utterly get jobbed out the moment you think that you're coming up in the world? <laughs> because apparently that's been happening to you quite a bit this playthrough. Apparently. <laughs> With the fucking rusted clumps and everything. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 we're just going into. Okay. Uh, by the way, I think you get recovery potions for clearing this wave. So if you want to just use a full heal, go for it. Are we maxed oh, out? You're yes. maxed out. Strip that armor at least. Uh, maybe a one handed weapon would be better because you're dodging a lot. Oh, that killed me. You still keep the materials, though. Don't I know, worry. but that I'm just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Do we keep the weapon? Yes. Okay. You keep everything. Then we're then we have no real reason to go in here. The only reason to clear it after that is to farm materials from the third floor and to get the extra money and consumables from clearing the whole thing. Cool. So we just go. So, so we just go to Two Brothers Weaponry and see if we can upgrade anything. Oh no, we can't. We can't. I made sure. Uh. By the way, we have not been paying attention to this. Oh! 
I never noticed that. Yeah, uh, this pops in slowly through the story. I, uh, I guess in context, it's something like maybe the villagers just putting stuff in there as like little, like, hey, champ, go get her. Uh, no. <laughs> the villagers thinks, uh, think Yona's dead. Oh. <laughs> well, they certainly don't sound like it by the way they're talking to you uh, at this point. It's because you, they think you're coping. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of depressing, actually. And I imagine they don't care either way because, hey, it's going to get rid of the shade. So clearly that'll make everything better. Exactly. Right? It's a, as long as you have drive to kill the shades, they don't care. Hmm. So it's like a, uh, oh, fuck, but also. Uh... Something I want to bring up about that as well. That, you know, I could have uh, fast traveled, but whatever. Nah, not really. This is actually slightly faster if you're getting to the junk heap. Oh. Uh, but something else I want to bring up is specifically information that's brought up in Grimoire Nier that elaborates a bit more on uh, Brother Nier's relationship with Yona. And for those of you who might have played Drakengard 1, don't worry, it doesn't get that bad. All it really says is the fact that because uh, both of them lost their parents at an early age, as well as an implication that Brother Nier might have had to bury their mother at some point and lie to Yona about it, uh, he basically has a... A, a bit of an abandonment issues where he doesn't want to be alone and be the only member of his family left. And that's why he considers Yona so important as he does. Whoa. Fucking hell. Because he must have been like extremely young when they lost their parents. He's 16 at the beginning of the game. He doesn't want to be alone. He doesn't want to see the last member of his family who is a child just fucking up and die on him because of the Black Scrawl. And that has been what's pushing him to do a lot of what he does. I'm looking at what Tiger just said. A new player fought Titan for the first time, and I couldn't stop laughing because he apparently he apparently appeared. They said, what the hell is this music? Is this his WWE intro? Yeah. I will admit the start of Way to the Land is definitely... Like, the intro tracks is definitely WWE well, intro as fuck. What can I help Apparently, you? Uh, deliberately. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised. Pro wrestling is a big deal in Japan, last I checked. Mm-hmm. Uh, Iron Will. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. All right, all right, all right. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. All right. How much more do we need? Oh, we need the memory alloy. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's a very quick grind, actually. Yeah. Uh, uh we could do that right now, since we're going to be hitting an ending and then immediately right. coming so out. So we just need two memory. We could actually probably get that right from the junk heap. Yeah. Uh, what else could we upgrade? I was just going to focus on Iron Will, but all Fair right. Fair enough. Uh, I just want to see, because we know what we need to upgrade it uh, already. We just need complex machines, pyrite, and memory alloy, so don't do anything that I uses that. Uh, for full... Like, what else do we need? Uh, Iron Will? Uh, no, we just need... Yeah, pyrite and elaborate machine. All right, so anything that doesn't use those, I think, is fair game if you want to upgrade it. Just just for shits and giggles. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm looking at stuff that I'm actually going to use. Uh, what's Iron Pipe need? Uh, where is it? Uh, Take the metal bat, which we're right. short on. Yeah, because we we just we just blew that on. Uh, uh, yeah, you you can get that from just Iron uh metal. murdering child shades. It's no big deal. <laughs> yes, let's murder child shades. No big deal. I mean, how many have you already done at this point? You know, you're not gonna go. Uh, you're not gonna go backwards. You can only go forwards. Yeah. I almost want to do Labyrinth Shout. Uh, I, wow. I don't know. The stats are kind of not great on that. Uh, what about Dra Dragoon Land? Looks pretty good. He uses Pyrite. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, oh, a, lo a lot of the spears use stuff that we need right Sunrise now. Sunrise looks pretty good, actually, for the materials it's asking. Uh, it jumps, yeah. That's just a fucking Naginata. That's cool. Oh, we can level three this. Hold up. I'm going to make sure. Yeah. So pirate and elaborate machine. So we can pop that. And now we're at a point where we have to stop. Well, because so we, we don't even have the subdued bracelet. Anymore, yeah, but that's still pretty good fucking stats. All right. Well, I'm just going to roll with that. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be our go-to spear for now, I guess. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do... Uh, Sunrise. 
It's a good spear, too. Just pull it out, and you hear the first trumpet sound from Gallant Char. Right. It's already looking bigger, isn't it? Yeah, no, the swings are... First of all, the swings are already faster. But, uh, oh, yeah, so, Cogger, you're going to get a kick out of this. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the one way. Yeah. Uh, apparently, there was a Twitter trend uh, trending last night that got some people giggling and... Uh, whatever that trending was originally for definitely got buried in, in seconds because uh, The trending was apologize to bright and it turned into bright Noah memes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody knew what it was for very quickly everybody thought there was just like somebody some popular streamer or youtuber mocking a Gundam character <laughs> Hold on uh elevator. That's where the uh, p33s are. Oh, I okay. Yeah, I guess it is uh because that's where you get the memory alleys. Yeah, we're good on everything else. I think you can also get them from uh, the DLC map, but they're actually a lower drop rate than the P33s last I checked. Well, we need titanium alloy anyways. Yeah. So we're we're in here for... Uh, we're what just is, in here for alloy. What is effectively going to be the quickest run that I've ever done for this, because we're just going to blitz through everything. Not to mention if you use Dark World when you can cheese the minecart section. Oh, you can choose the minecart section other ways, by the way. Yeah, but Dark Whirlwind is the most straightforward. But yeah, it, it's the most fun version. Whee. Slap it out of the way. Yeah, just look at that fucking stat difference from all the from all the levels and the fucking boost to the weapon. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. So good. I can't wait till we see level four because it does actually get slightly larger each upgrade tier. Like, uh, level four, it's where it, it gets the the most noticeable one apparently, because on Fextra Life you can visibly see it. Yep, you absolutely can, and there's a specific detail that is absolutely telling that it's level four that uh, that is present on both Brother Near and Papa Near that always makes me chuckle. Or they just start uh, stretching their shoul uh, shoulders out. Wow. Okay, hold up. No. The weapon actually gets so big, the tip of it clips through the floor. <laughs> I know, it's amazing. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, e even when I was doing off-stream grinds, I'm gonna be real, I was even doing that. Just fucking swing them both out of the way. Yeah. Just, uh, get out of here. <laughs> Skedaddle, skadoodle, I control neutral. Some fucking Nagoriyuki grounded uh, hitboxes right here. Look at this shit. Oh, somebody, uh... It wasn't Lythero, but Lythero's gonna be doing it now when he plays, uh, Nago. But, uh, Nago apparently has a, uh, extremely low crouching hitbox. Really? So fucking low that projectiles miss him completely. What the fuck? Yeah, he has the lowest uh, n uh, crouching hitbox. Oh my god, okay. So there's just, there's there's gonna now, the meta's about to shift for that. Yeah, because people are already talking about how kind of like mid-tier uh, Nago feels because of how risk versus reward the blood gauge is. Yeah. That might shift things a little. Yeah, especially since like, he could just dodge uh, most of May's projectiles too. Oh my god, if that means that he can just completely fucking cause Totsuki to whiff, or that he's like primed to absolutely punish that thing like fucking two H super dashes in uh, Fighter Z. Oh my god! Good god! <laughs> I'm just cruising through this. Yeah, you are. That's kind of ha what happens after a certain point with Junk Heap. Okay, this is this is the Junk Heap experience. Dot MP uh, seventeen. MP. Because it's been fourteen centuries. We've, we've clearly advanced past MP4s in that period, right? We haven't even advanced past MP4s here! Then why haven't they advanced past MP4s yet? Because MP4 is outdated already! Then why is- then how can it not be? Oh, yeah, I have to do this the long way. Yeah, you have to go around- well, the boxes in there still give you uh, materials anyway, like pyrite and shit. Yeah. I'm blitzing through this so fast that I forgot that like half my up Wah! Just get the just get the Terminator 2 reference in there, it's fine. Uh item behind you. I'm, I'm maxed out on that item. We don't even know what it is. Oh, Denton Metal Board. 
And remember, they don't turn gold for most of the uh, rare minerals. <laughs> I'm getting too, like, gun happy right now. <laughs> that I'm just lunging myself into holes. Man, don't you just hate inserting yourself into holes? I hate when that happens. This, this post was left by ferret owners. I am... F okay, I swear this doesn't normally happen. I'm normally a lot more articulate with my movements. Just for whatever reason, when we start streaming, my skill just goes out the fucking window. That's, that's called streamer tax, man. That's called streamer tax. Motherfucker! <laughs> you want me to do this for a little bit so you can like de-stress since no. we're just doing a grinding run anyway I'm just gonna do this okay and and an item despawned literally right in front yeah, of you it was a uh, uh, medical herb I don't think it was we didn't we didn't mouse over it mouse over it walk over it that we know what that is because we're not picking that up Okay, no. I can't fault you for that one because that was literally hidden behind a bunch of fucking boxes. I know, but I'm still upset. Because, like, we've gone through this how many times now? This particular corridor? Five. And you, I'm just like... You weren't asking for an actual number, were you? No. And I'm just, like, magnetized to the holes. Woo, 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 woo! It's like those big carnival games where they actually set up like weights on some of the skee ball stuff so that it's impossible to get the higher uh, tier holes to get more tickets. God, don't remind me. Remember, kids, the only honest carnivals exist in video games. Yeah. Because they're told that they still got to make the money. I believe this is the single. I think this is uh, a single spawn one, yeah. He'll spawn here in a bit. No, 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 no. Spin around! Spin! Yeah. The first spin. Scholars of the first spin. Scholars of the old spin. Gyro's on the brain. He should be up by now. I don't know why he's not up. Ah, uh, trash face. He was up much quicker when I did this originally. Scholar of the first spring. Probably because you were taking these out uh, quicker somehow because you were zoning out and not having to focus on also doing commentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, when, I, when, I, when I ground this out, I was dead silent. Like, I, I literally had music up and I was just like, yeah, that's just... That's the fancy. All right, which one is it? Titanium. Eh. We need that for a request, so... Sure. I think we're at the quota now. Now we have another broken motor. Just gotta wait for that. With those brief moments of physics, you can nudge it slightly closer. There's supposedly a way you can actually make a certain one a lot easier by doing that. I imagine this is that certain one. I think so. We got bad, bad RNG on this, by the way. And now you know I'm not bullshitting on that door trick. Hmm? No, it's, it's, it's fuckered. The door closes way too quickly. All right. We're just shy. Say. I, I know I've tricked it out to not close before. I'm gonna say try and throw just as soon as you hear the hiss from the door opening. So I'm gonna be real quiet for that. Yeah, there you go. That's the trick. There we go. And nope, nope, no, nope. We've seen enough of this PTR, corridor. I'm getting ah, about that. Oh boy. No, we're good. We're good. Not. I'm just gonna flee. We've had enough for one lifetime. I'm gonna listen to the Shah fear and scream, flee. 
You know what we haven't seen enough of for one lifetime though? This fucking minecart. I actually like this minecart. This grew on me very, uh, after a while. I don't know, man. After 22 trips on this thing to get the P33s to respawn so you can get more memory alloy. We've done this actually uncharacteristically short amounts of time from what, from what I've been told. No, I mean doing this in my own time when I was playing this game. Oh, Because yeah. I was actually trying to get as many weapons upgraded as possible. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. I'm fucking... We only need, like, one of each type in my book. Yeah, that's that's the smart way to do it. That's the sane way to do it. That's why I didn't do it. I gotta get them chibos. Oh, that was a big heal from Emil, actually. I wonder if there's some level scaling on that. Uh, there's a little bit. He's been doing it uh, also more frequently as well. Fuck! Ah, uh, you lost your charge. Oh, Christ! Yeah, what's even funny is these guys will chase you through the whole level. Yeah. I've had that happen uh, on the grind where I had a, a, like 20 of these fuckers chasing me and it like lagged the game uh, down pretty hard until I uh, de-render them off of the floor. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but when it comes to trying to get rare shit from grinds, I, for some reason, I keep putting myself through it. Like, I got a full set of onion equipment in Final Fantasy III Pixel Remaster. And now I'm going for fucking rainbow pudding in Final Fantasy IV uh, 3D remake. I don't even know why you're fucking doing that. That's I don't like either. fucking misery. No, wait. I know exactly why. Because I want to finish uh, the naming wayside quest on at least one of my files. Okay. This is the floor that are the room that has the two. Uh, I think you can Not get this a, one, but this area. Yeah. I think you can get a sneaky hit in. Are, are you going to... Okay, that works. Memory alloy, we got one. I'm, I'm gonna finish the other uh, set because we're gonna need memory alloy anyways. Uh, yeah, once we get a second memory alloy, we can just jack this thing up to level four and then we're playing the real game. We're, we're, we're playing the guts reference that everybody completely ignored uh, in this game, but wouldn't ignore in Dark Souls and Dragon's Dogma. The funny thing is the, the, the Guts references still persist with Papineer. They just take on a different context. Yeah. Oh, more titanium alloy. That's neat. Another titanium alloy. Okay. You can actually get memory alloy from the small ones too. It's just extremely rare. Really? I yes. knew you could get titanium, but I've not memory. I've uh, gotten memory alloy from trash mobs. Huh. Yeah, it's 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 kind of weird. Oh, we got the air phase. I mean, small mercy, You, it, it's even a chance, I guess, but... Pip and pop. What's Pippin got to do with this? I said Pip and pop. I I, I leave Precious Lothafell, uh, gentlemen, out of that. I mean, I was referencing the Lord of the Rings character, but oh. okay. Because I because I I referenced the actual not as cool Pippin. Yeah. <laughs> the Pippin that literally is the whole reason why Frodo has to throw himself off a cliff. Spoilers. Oh, machine oil. Uh, open the map. You can kind of tell which ones are going to have the P33 because they're... Yeah, that one down at the south side. Because they're the big, evenly spaced rooms that just scream boss area. Yeah. Gotta go through. We went through that room already. Oh, hello. You boys were ready. Yeah, they are on a world timer and not a, uh, approach timer, turns out. Huh. Yeah, you want to go for the one that's slightly closer to the entrance. What? Is it this one? No. Yes. I, again, I turned my brain off for this shit. <laughs> Most people do. I'm trying my hardest not to do it right now. No, gotta go all the way to the end. No, there's normally enemies here. I don't know what's going on. You have to go to the end and clear this room, and then they spawn on the way back. Oh. Yeah, it's just like, you do this enough times, you pick up on the tricks, and it's just like, hey, back, hey, what what up, it's your boy, back again. We, we, we doing this now, I guess, okay. You, you want to give me the materials I asked for? It? No, no, you're just, you're just going to make me do this all over again, you... You, you just you just want me to waste my time doing all this. Yeah, again, I, I apologize if I go silent for this section of the, st of the stream. It, it's the 
there's a reason why I don't like grinding. Is I start dimming out. Bombs, mentally. bombs, 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 yeah, yeah, bombs. Yeah, yeah. And ropes. But no oil though. No oil, no lantern oil. I mean, we got machine oil, so I guess that counts. Yeah, but we didn't have enough rupees for it. We didn't have enough mm, rupees. It's weird. That's been one of the most persistent fucking things on the internet for people to reference is just fucking Morshu. Morshu came back as a, as a reference for some reason. He people came back were, with a vengeance. People were going, were quoting Link, my boy, for the longest fucking time, and now we just got Morshu, which is the better of the two m memes to come out of that game. Yeah. Uh, outside of good. Oh, yeah, and fucking that's that's just a classic fucking AVGN little clip there. All right, which one we get? Roll the dice. Yeah! We don't have to do this bullshit on camera again. You will have to do it off camera instead. Yeah. <laughs> if, we, if we want to do any, if we want to get any other weapon that may require something from here. And we specifically have enough memory alloy to fully upgrade iron. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll, yeah. I'll take like, it all the way to oh, the bank. Right. Uh, ah, oh, I forgot that this is one of the annoying doors. Yeah, we got to clear all the trash mobs. Plenty of severed cables and oh, never mind. Every, everything else in this room is ignoring now. Man, you, you, we got enough fucking spare cable down here. We could just set up a fucking household CRT game party. I was gonna say a server farm, but all right. No. No. That's what those cables are apparently for. If you look at the description. No. We don't do that here. We 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 get with the boys and we play some Link Four Swords Adventure. But That's what we do. <laughs> I'm so glad you said Four Swords Adventure. Nintendo, where's the remaster, please? Well, what the fuck are you going to do with four people on a GameCube? It's it's not like there's anything else of note to play on it with uh, with multiple people. Uh, no, there actually is another game that you can play, but I totally forget. F Zero. Oh, I took the lo the other way. That's fine. Eh, this is still a way back. It's yeah, right. it it just takes a little bit longer. I don't think so. No, I measured it. It takes a little bit longer to go this way. Because there's certain, like, stop load points that make it longer. All right. It's annoying, but we got to do it anyway, as it's required. I just kind of wish that at the very least, they could have let you, after a certain point, choose to skip the minecart section and go all the way to the end. That would have made this so much better. It would have. It would have. Because again, you do that so many times because these things just aren't dropping the memory alloy. You want to get your favorite weapon built up and... We're just going to drop down. Yep. Zoom. By the way, doing a, doing an actual three-point landing like everyone uh, likes to do nowadays, that is actually hell on your fucking body. Yes, it is. Cl don't, don't land on your knee if you're ever going to uh, drop from a high place. Yeah, no, don't do that. I know, from, I know from experience and I'm still suffering uh, suffering the problem to this day. Because I was forced to do a three-point landing when going through a scuttle when I was in the Navy. And it was not great. Also, I don't like normally, for the record, I don't like normally saying that I, that I was in the Navy because people have a very choice opinions about veterans. Mostly because most veterans are just fucking gun-touting nutcases, but that's beside the point. Yeah, anyway... You know what we are, though? We're sword-touting nutcases, and that makes us better. That makes us stronger! That makes us- that makes us more worthy of respect. Alright, let's see the goods. What Come on, man. Come let's on. strengthen the boy. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> yeah, let's see it. What's even funnier is that little thing. Right there, the little bands, the little steel bands that are near the uh, metal dome. Those actually slowly stretch out as you get the weapon better. Hmm. So that's now off the list. Come back soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What that's, a, that's a big boy. What did I tell you? <laughs> that's basically a fucking metal surfboard on a stick. Oh, we're going to go. Oh, it even has... 
have you hold up look at the fucking blur from the opening swing by the way it's it's not the blur that i was uh looking for no but i just mean like the trail of like uh air as it swings yeah no it's a fucking beefcake it is an absolute fucking beefcake specifically look check it out check it out no 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 not the running swing it goes behind you yeah that's fucking awesome uh i believe i actually can make it from here uh i think it's right here. no 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 no. it's right here there's a break in there's a break in this for a reason oh they blocked it off what the fuck yep you, you can do it in the ps3 version not anymore you gotta take the ferry oh that's so dumb gotta take the ferry can't let you break just canceled that fall animation you see that shit all right, let, let's let's break this fucker in on some of these uh, trash mob shades while we're at it. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that fucking hitbox. Whee! Just swinging it around and people are just going, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, we should look at the weapon story for this now that it's done. Oh yeah, true. This is the first weapon we've actually maxed out live. We'll be reading weapon story. We may not max out weapons. We're probably we're very we're likely not going to max out uh, many weapons after this because we're going to definitely be. Re uh, you feel free to take the honor since it's your favorite weapon. All right. Uh, it's a little hard to see from here because the text is slightly over that way, and I'm sitting uh on the right side. I don't know how I can fix that. I don't know either. Here, hold up. I got an idea. We could just like switch chairs or something. No, hold up. Hold up. Better? Uh, not really, no. Uh, what am I supposed to do then? I don't know. Just let me sit in your chair and do it. All right. Pass in front of the mic. Hey. Uh, musical chairs, except it's only two people, and that makes it weird. And really short. Got control. Just briefly. I raise the cry of my birth. The sound of heated iron taking shape. A steel mallet striking my form. Born to deliver karmic justice, I enter the world under the careful watch of spark and flame and give light to the gloom. I am a blade born of a deafening roar. I am a weapon. I am Iron Will. I grant death. I transform the dread and screams of my foes to elation. I festoon my iron skin with their viscera. When I rob them of life, I am filled with dark joy. When I crush them beneath me, I find meaning in my birth, and I continue to kill. Then I might share this delight with all. I kill and kill and kill and kill. I am a weapon. I am Iron Will. I am shattered at battle and blood's end. My body is torn asunder by malice and hate. Today, I again engage the Red Dragon in battle, and magical forces meet the leaping iron fangs to create a bloodstorm. My steel cursed, I sink into the slumbering black. I am a weapon. I am Iron Will. I dream. It is the dream of a small butterfly. In it, the butterfly is caught in a light rain, struggling against it with all its might. In the darkest of nights, I behold a dream that will never come true. I am a weapon. I am Iron Will. Back seats. Seats. This is a pain in the ass. But... Yeah. Yeah, that's the weapon. Sword really wants to be a butterfly. Instead, it gets to be a giant murder stick that sounds like, by with how much of a murder boner it has, it may as well be possessed by Kaim from Dragon Guard One. But yeah, make sure. Yep. Hold up. I still find that weirdly there hilarious that somehow, after getting blasted out of the air by the Tokyo Air Force, Kaim just exploded like a giant fucking murder stick pinata over the over the skies at Tokyo. Just all over the place. Just... Yay! 
Like, like the okay. fucking happy birthday skull, just all the weapons just falling down all over Japan. One of them just goes right through the just goes right through the window of an office building and goes like right next to a dude's head as he's using the coffee maker. He's just like, huh? <laughs> like not even a panicked. Oh god, just huh? I mean, it's Japan. How many kaiju do you think they have to put up with when people are just trying to put in their nine to fives? They're that's I swear there's like a game or a manga where like I think there it, is it's like the the kaiju response routine or some shit. I think there is a I I think someone did show me a clip of like a tokusatsu series of some kind where there's like a monster of the week outside and someone's taking a, a call in their office and the other guy is going, "What the hell is going on out there?" and the dude is just like, "I live in Japan, take a guess." <laughs> oh, he tried. No, no buff totem for you. Got a flashy hat out of that. Look at the flashy hat. Huh, it says Supreme for some reason. Don't know why. No, it says a flashy hat. <laughs> oh, you're right. It doesn't say trashy hat. Yep. <laughs> I was like going to play, uh, play coy, but I was like, no, you're actually rolling this into a really good joke. <laughs> you know what I imagine it is when it says flashy hat? One of those tacky fucking bucket hats that's got the marijuana leaf patterns on it that you see people wearing all the time. Oh my god! <laughs> this bitch! Yeah, the fucking whiz rope shade strike again. Just use Dark Lance. No, because I don't want to send him flying and shit. Apparently these guys will respawn. We just keep moving uh, so fast. They don't get a chance for, uh, to come back up. Then how is that a problem if we're moving that fast? It's because they're annoying later. Yeah, but they're not showing up when we get inside. So what the fuck's it matter? And until they are and you get that, that one uh, dark lance that doesn't send them that far. Which I don't want to uh, risk that. Eh, I don't know, man. I'm already rushing these guys. So. Yeah, we've done this once before. Song yep. and dance. Song and dance. Alrighty. Load screen. Oh yeah, the two with the matching red bags. That whole thing went places. We made it go weird this ending. Yeah, with that uh, with that other choice that I never picked. Yeah, you now know what it is, and now it feels even worse. Uh, assuming that is what Taro intended, I don't know. There's no telling with that guy. Nah, I, yeah. He was in a, at another GDC fairly recently, actually. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, they did have a GDC stuff. Uh, they had a Japan ex exclusive GDC. Move! I would almost, Door stuck! I would almost take the boxes over you. What the fuck was that? That was them getting buffs. Oh, wow. Good thing I made it out of there. Yeah, because you didn't kill one of the shades outside, they were close enough to get buffs from it. No, oh, hello. You actually drop rare materials that we might want later. If we want to upgrade oh, more Oh, that would have finished them off. All right, he's gone. No, 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 Dort. That's right. I, I, I still through. fucking, I still fucking love the music change yes. that they made here. Where it's, where it's uh, the layers of snow in the summer instead of just playing the incomplete stone like they normally do. Yep. Sometimes it bugs out, and apparently that is a very well-known bug, uh, where it doesn't do that. Uh, I, I could see why that would happen since there's a specific script to change the BGM for a specific moment. So they probably have to have the files for the scripting for the original song as like, just there underneath. Or something like that. You can tell I don't know how the fuck code works. He gone. Just fucking three shot that boy. Just blitzed him. He was done before he could breathe. He literally was. I think we gotta go through here next. Yeah. Yes. We basically gotta go in a big old ring. Gotta go through all the circles. Gotta go a big old dang old ring. Door stuck. Ah, all these dancers just doing their routines, getting their fucking uh, big cooldowns off to give everyone their extra DPS to determine who gets the top parse rankings. Oh, also, did you notice something fascinating about those past two uh, few rooms? Uh, which was? Where the fuck the boxes? They despawn them specifically after you complete the puzzles the first time. No, apparently it's after you complete the first ending. 
No, because you have to do the block pushing puzzles when you come through here oh! before fighting Gretel, remember? Bingus, right! Yeah. They're not that what merciful. What a fucking dumb! They're they're not that merciful, remember? Yeah. They're they're still going to make you apparently make you think that there are rusted clumps in a river that they don't exist in, and it's just buckets. I mean, I said slightly rarer, you know, slightly rarer being a, a little bit more frequent or slightly more common and slightly more common being a little more frequently than not at all. Mm. But hey, we now have we, we now it's have done. It is done. We, we now have our slab of metal too thick and too clumsy to be called a sword. We, we we now have the the giant metal sword to bend our boto uh boto bogos. Man, I tried. I mean, you did, admittedly. It's a that's a tongue tie. I'm gonna be real. That's a tongue tie. I wonder if a meal's gonna get you to full health before you even get to the mailbox. Probably. This rate. He's getting pretty frequent with that. He is. I almost want to say they tweaked his AI in a patch or something to make that happen. No, no patches haven't happened since last stream. It might be just a per No, I mean basis. since launch, because remember, oh. I played this game when it came out. Okay. Now we are in. Okay, here we go. And now for the root B version of the ending, where Which we get is that be little extra context. Really fascinating. Ending B, where we get our photos printed. Such an ominous sight, and yet I find it strange. <laughs> this is one of the only uh, ambient yeah. dialogues you can skip, I believe. This is where Vice and I first met. And we've already heard it. There's yeah. nothing different. And now the path is open. It's time to do the thing. I wonder if anyone's translated the uh, angelic around the rings here. I believe so. Because I know most of the time when you see it show up, it does translate into actual English phrases. Yup. Everything can be uh, translated in this game that's angelic, but not the songs, because they're deliberately not translatable. Yeah. I just mean the text. No, I know. I'm just I'm just getting my fucking... Once more for the people in the back who think that they can actually parse fucking anything from the lyrics, even though it's literally chaos language. Yeah. Wait, was this statue knocked down last time? I believe it was. Okay. That would that would be a really nice detail if like every ending that we do a, a statue gets knocked down. But I don't think we I don't think we're gonna get that lucky at on the small details front. Yeah. Alright, well time to talk to these assholes. To who There's nothing new here, so you can just mash through this. It can talk. It can talk, it can talk, it can talk, I can sing! Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Oh man, gotta get that one in again. Uh, always, always. It's like a weird compulsion. When you know enough classic Simpsons references, they they just they just come out. Yeah. No, uh, body from soul. Yep. I ask. And the third one is uh corresponding shells. Yeah. You, you just gotta put them inside. It's like specific sandwiches gotta go in a specific kind of bread. Not everything's gotta work with multi grain. Sometimes you just gotta use like proper baked white sandwich. Bread. Oh, we got unlucky on those boxes this time around. Usually there was like a heal or recovery potion in it. Uh, no, actually, I think one of those had uh, a weapon we already own. Oh, was it? I think it was. I thought it was that one. That no. just broke. Huh. Okay. Uh, we should probably double check. 93% we're still missing one how did you do a uh, treasure map that's the one you're missing no 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 because that's done ah uh! what am I okay that whole that's not right because I did treasure map there's no other weapon quests uh okay we're gonna look this up real quick we're missing a spear we don't have to worry about it now we're just gonna have to worry about it on the next loop 
No, I know. I'm just fucking upset. Because I know I fucking did it. This is the proper one, right? Okay. 33. We, we are missing one or two, actually. Uh, let's check the other lust things and see if there's anything not on there. I'm looking in the, uh, the one, so... Alright, remember, we're looking for spears specifically. So, we have... Those are... There we go. Ancient Overlord, Axe of Beheading. Uh... Ah, oh, they didn't sort it. We have Fang and the Twins. Uh, Dragoon Lance. Captain's Holy Spear. Oh! What are you owing about? You noticed something missing? I mean, yeah, I imagine that was the one that we're missing, but... Yeah, that's why I was so confused. I have to buy that still. Oh! Yeah. What? Yeah, that's I told you specifically, check all the weapon shops first and foremost. I did, but apparently that one pops up when you're done with certain quests, which I may have that one finally done. Uh, we got the Phoenix Sphere. Okay, so that seems to be the only one we're missing and we can just buy it. I'm double checking. We have Sunrise. Don't check too much because there might be a spoiler in there. No, uh, it, it th this is a Polygon article. They're very good about spoilers, surprisingly. If it, if it was Kotaku or IGN, it'd be a different story. Like, the, the guy that I'm looking at through Polygon literally says no, a spoiler free on it. Alright. Uh, we already have Transients, Vile Axe, Devil Queen... Yeah, I think each weapon counts as like roughly 7, 7.5%, so... Yeah, we have we're, we're, we're missing only one. Except for that full spear, that counted as 3%. That's why I'm double checking. It was 90 before we had that spear. Yeah, that's why I'm like, um. Okay. We, uh, can we back down and like. Check by category, check by category. Yeah, we're good on that. There's no question, uh, question marks here or here. So it's, we're just missing one or two spears. Yeah. So can we, is this point of no return already? Or is that, or is that door back there to point of no return check because we can do that real quick but then we have to run all the way back that's fine it's worth it uh we, we could just get the ending and then do it after well there's so much shit we have to go through to get to facade so let's just do it now oh well we can load did we save let's let's just get the ending and do it after did wait do we even save before we're going in here anyways i think we did i don't think we did All right, well, we're committing, I guess. We'll just yeah, get on the next gonna, run. We're going to have to commit and not die, because if we die, we start over from uh, even before. No, this game has checkpoints. Oh, good. We know now, so we'll have the we'll have it before the next ending. Right. It's the twins from your village. Hopla, Devil, what are you doing here? Faye, your sword is clipping through the ground. You, you don't question it, okay? It it, it it just happens. It's just that powerful that it bends physics to its will at this point. The sword is self-conscious about it. You, you cannot bring it to its attention. The sword's just over there like... Hmm. It, it had some weird... Uh, It told me some weird stuff about how it dreamed it was oh, a I butterfly dreaming it was a sword. Or was it a sword dreaming it was a butter... I don't know. Some some weird philosophical shit from an, uh, that no one cares about. We're, we're, I just use it to kill things. Mostly shades. We're live and I forgot to tweet, uh, tweet that we're live. Oops. Hey. Any chance you'll just go back to the Oh, we can skip all this, can't we? Skip what? This dialogue. Yeah, this is... None of this is new. This isn't even... So you guys gonna, uh... Turn back? No. No. We're, we're, we're gonna proceed forward. No. Oh. Sub-cost fallacy. Okay. Yeah. They're just like, yeah, we get, we get it. I'm not skipping this. I like this intro. We didn't want to fight you. Really didn't want to. All right, there we go. Cool. What's Giant happening? sword might actually Sorry. not be great for this these two. Uh, we'll see. But I remember it actually being kind of shitty for them. 
Oh, they scale a little bit. Oh no, we just face skip them. Uh, no, they're specifically damage mitigation, so you can't skip the dialogue. Oh, so we just gotta wait. Yeah. You just gotta chip away and wait. I don't think so. It's a lie. I don't believe it. Kill him, you glorious bastards. Oh, right, because of this. Alright. Now you can actually uh, hit him normally, I believe. And now you're doing the real damage. We never thought we'd grow to be this powerful. Yeah, holy shit, you just... Oh, what is that damage on mid? What is that hurt box? Why is hurt box? Box. Box. Bo oh, 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 Christ. Uh, you, you, you hit her in the GPU, didn't you? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Just gotta... There we go. It just, she's just like... Hold up, I gotta update my drive, 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 Okay, I'm good to go now. <laughs> Yo, you good, sister? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, just, just, it, you know how those NVIDIA updates are, okay. just, oh, it, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I got her up as she was going down! Oh, shit on a shingle. They can use the seal. That's a sentence. Of course we can. The power came from us in the first place. Ah, jeez. a small portion of it. Yeah, but did you have to go and give Vice a magical stroke over it? Oh, 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 oh. I like how their versions of the sealed verses seem to have seem to be explicitly modeled to have similar uh, textures as the original PS3 versions. Yeah. Like maybe that's just uh, artifact of their animation data from the original, but that's still neat to me. Oh. She's keep interrupting my strike downs. Yeah, she tends to do that. Devil is the one who likes to play so, who likes to play un unnerfed fucking Saul and Strive. No shit. Just just get in there with the fucking volcanic viper bandit bringer. Oops, now I've done a touch of death combo on you actually during a match. <laughs> All right, they become uh completely unhittable there. <laughs> Don't get counter hit by Saul. You will regret it. It uh, would be even funnier is like as like as she's laughing, she just has like the mouth just opens, but she still has a normal, uh, stone face. She's just like, ha 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 Also, hello, Din Lara. Hi. Welcome, welcome. We're doing root B. We're probably going to learn that we fucked up even harder than we realized. But yeah, she just, just doesn't smile. She just goes, ha 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 With the, like, a stone resting bitch face. Mouth opens and the laugh comes out. Come through the door. Seem to be putting us through a great deal of. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I feel so bad for Vice. For long years, my mind and tongue have been my greatest assets. But now the latter seems to be. Vice? <laughs> Who gave Vice a bottle of spiritus before the fight? <laughs> I, I do like that they added the static filter in this version, Whoa, though. Am I going the wrong way? No, you, you're you going the right way. The, the camera twisted for some reason. It was because it was trying to show you the door was open, but you went in ahead of time. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's right. This is, this is actually going to have some new dialogue. Oh, boy, is it. So, any of y'all watching this having a good day? You're probably not gonna be after you see this. But that's right, the dialogue doesn't start. It yeah. Certainly is a grand affair. Yeah. Hey. Hey guys, did y'all read Hiroma, Hiroma Arakawa's? Oh, oh. Man, when when did we walk onto the set of a Disney movie? Oh, Just knocked his ass. None out. of you are human. Okay, so these are shades who I think, think themselves purely humans and are not happy with what we've been doing. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late for that. Also, look at how much damage you're doing now. Yeah, we're just blessing through them. These are supposed to be like the hardest normal enemies in the game, and you're just like eviscerating them. Oh, I was yeah, hoping... that that fucking roll every time, every single time. It's it's the most annoying bullshit attack that they have. Ooh. 
Leather boots. Hey. Thanks for them, Tim, son. They mine now. Get them normal boots in. God damn it! Ow! There we go. Slap. <laughs> It's, it was actually kind of funny because of all the grinding I did on my playthrough. I got to a point where they were actually, where I was actually killing them slower than they were spawning in. By the way, this is the only place you can get this word, and you can only get it on this ending, I believe. Huh? This, this, this is the maxed out we, uh, magic. What, the ma maxed out weapons magic. Uh, also, we bubble. maxed out guard resistance, which probably doesn't do much since there are a number of attacks that are basically just, yeah, this automatically guard breaks you. Get fucked. It's more for the level 9 magic that needs to be done right now, actually. Uh, what special effect are you going to put on, then? Uh, I mean, we kind of have all of our... Like, we're at a point where I think we're fine just coasting on power and MP of cost reduction. Hold up, it's the it's this one, right? There's not going to be much harder challenges after this, so... No, you're right. I just want to see what a level 9 looks like. And it's Gebel. see how it looks it's batch of sign all right Ow. shredding his armor off well yeah dark whirlwind's kind of made for that all right now we got more uh totem boys in and they did hold up there's a weapon. It also, I believe it also does that to wep uh, level 9 to weapons as well. What does that even do without a special effect to plug in next to it? I don't know. Probably nothing. Oh, no way. Hold up. I got an idea. There we go. No, don't back to sign. Let's, let's test it first. Let's do it on Iron Will instead. I'm realizing we have uh, a lot, uh, a few weapons that have not gotten batch assigned. Yep. They're probably going to stay that way because yeah. fuck them. Okay, level nine drain HP. Oh, that's not super noticeable. Well, yeah, no, that's that's super negligible. Let's see. Yeah, that's going up like a pixel at a time. Yeah, well, we already have like really high HP anyways. So it is kind of just like, what's the point? Yeah, just do fucking power. Just just do short and sweet. <sighs> okay, so I'm just going to do batch assign. Actually, do we have a better attack up word? No, I think we're good to go on that. We only have the plus 20%. I thought we had a higher one. Uh, that's Pahol, right? Yeah, we're, 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 that's it. All right, fair enough. Because I know these cap at like plus 30%. That's the boy. All right. All right, that's where we're going with then. I mean, Iron Will's already disgusting as is. Let's just make it more so. Uh, you know what I probably could do, though? Dark Lance to knock him down? No, hold up. Well, yes, obviously, but, uh, instead of MP cost, because we already have so much, we're at a point where we have so much MP. MP actually doesn't scale as aggressively as you think. It only goes up a couple points at a time. We should do that. Because for some weird reason, HP can go into the thousands, but MP will still stay in the hundreds. It, The scaling is weird in this game, is what I'm saying. There we go. Yeah, that's much better for a rapid fire <laughs> ability, actually. Stop coming. I'll open the next door. Slowly uh, lame our... Uh, M HP back. Yeah, like abusing the, the regen in uh, Deus Ex. Chip, chip. Okay, they don't want us to open the ball door for some reason. They don't want us to violate their balls. Oh, yeah, I could dirt gluttony these, these guys with all the uh, balls around, couldn't I? I don't think you can, like... I'm not even doing this for the bit. I don't know if you can aim it upwards that well. No, it's mainly for the guys that are on the ground. Yeah. That's why I keep saying Dark Lance. Just do Dark Lance. 
No, you can. You just have to be locked onto them. No, you idiots. What are you doing? Oh. Open? Fine. Oh, we gotta wait for that, yeah. Stop, you impatient fool. Oop, there he goes. Hey. <laughs> he just dropped immediately, you see that? Damn no good bullshit bastard! Open the fuck up already! <laughs> Got it. Kylie, look out! Hey, nice, Got it. nice on you, Kags. And you know what we're gonna do to celebrate? Hey. You know what we're gonna do with, for that? What's up? Drink? Well, actually, no, we don't have all that much for beverages apart from water in the apartment right now, but you know what we are gonna do? Murder these fucking baby shades, which are literally the souls of children that have been rent from their bodies to save them from an impending apocalypse, and we are now damning them to the horrible, bleak expanse. These things are freaking me out. And what's great is we're getting HP from them. I mean, also the fact that even robbed of context, uh, Faye here just sounds like every other person I know who, I, who defines themselves by their identity of hating children. Because there's a weird subset of people what? who love to remind you how much they hate children, and you're just like, please go outside and touch grass. No one asked you. That is that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm focusing on surviving right now. No, I'm just talking like Dinlaria, just straight up uh, pulling out the meme. I was hoping someone would pull out. We Are we the baddies? Yeah, that's literally what near it. What near and Drakengard is at large is. Are we the baddies? And in most cases, it's, I don't know, because the other guys are somehow worse than you. In this game, that question is literally the point. Oh, yeah, I gotta talk to Kaine, don't I? I can't believe you're farming the children for health. Uh, you know, okay. yeah. chip recovery is chip recovery, yeah? What recovery? Chip has the worst health in Strive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let Octopimp hear you that, or let you hear that. Oh no, wait, he's a Potemkin ma a meme. Yeah, <laughs> which he, makes it even funnier. He's the first person to be telling you that. Also, I don't know why you're saying that because fucking uh, he, he voices Axel Lowe, not Chip. Oh right, no, who is it that voices Chip? Ed Bosco. Bosco, okay. He was the guy who voiced uh, Mabuchi in Yakuza Seven. Right. That's right. We gotta wait for this guy to fall over. Well, it's Kaim. I just want to murder shit and hang out with my with my uh, snarky dragon friend versus literal cannibal space babies and their cannibal mannequin space mother. I think I know which which devil I'm going to pick in that uh, equation. By the way, yes, I am uh, farming this dude for HP right now. Well, lass. Uh, actually, no, you're a uh, fucking- Dude is a general neutral term nowadays. Yeah, especially if you ask anyone who's from California. Yeah, like, I, I, I use dude in a very uh, gender neutral term because dudette feels very degrading nowadays. Yeah. It's like how don't don't use actress, just use actor for both genders. Yeah. Or a uh, fucking both gender, for any gender identity, I should say, rather. I have to go in and swing on. Yep, just, just pop that giant zit like a Zelda boss. Yep. Woo! Oh, that's right. That doesn't. That's a pathetic ground pound. Come yeah, back here when you got some fucking hook bullshit going on. Yeah, that's say yeah, That doesn't go as far as it, as I thought it would. Hook is a boss that knew what ground pounds were like, and he's from like way in the beginning. I miss Hook. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. He this this one uh, dialogue. I was hoping to farm it for HP. <laughs> Save the healing uh, bats, even though we're gonna get a plenty on the way. Yeah, we're gonna get some consumables from the boxes after the, we're done here. So what's really funny with this phase, by the way, is if you have a high enough uh, attack rating from your weapon or your levels, you can actually just completely eviscerate several health bars and this thing will still somehow not go down. Oop. Nice recovery. Right, there's some of the plating gone. Yeah, I'm just trying to... There we go. <laughs> Down they go. It's even funnier if you have like one of the better spears in the game because you can just fucking touch of death poor uh by the way I feel like I can actually say the name of the shade now. You can actually touch of death poor goose when she gets back up. Oh that I forgot that this is one of the really bad ones. Like that the connotations of its of her name Mother is, Goose, yeah. Is like 
very much you're supposed to feel bad when you kill this one. Yeah. Because this is literally a matron shade just getting back at you for fucking murdering a bunch of her babies. Yeah. And being one of, I think maybe, uh, counting Louise, one of three, uh, merged shades that we know of who doesn't, uh, relapse. Mm-hmm. Goose is still conscious this whole time. She still knows who you are, she knows who she is, and she knows you're this piece of shit she wants to kill. Unleash the babies! I can't believe I missed that from Gagara. We need- I need to hurry up and set, uh, set up voice for Kagura, because I would love to have him also co-pilot with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll- we'll have- we'll have you ready to go for the next game. Because the next game you're definitely gonna want to have some fun commentary with. No, 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 don't- don't use the fucking great sword when you're running, just- just Dark Blast. Oh, yeah. Please, hurry. I hope that's not a fucking game over. Oh, it catching up? Yeah. Oh, it's definitely a game over. Fuck! Uh, we're just gonna get kicked back to the beginning of this. It's still inconvenient, though. Continue. Makes us pick our save. Fuck! Yeah. Oh, it, no, uh, it's just the ba the beginning of this sequence. And yeah, I was about to say, it, it should, it should kick us back to the beginning of the sequence. Yeah, the checkpoints are even more generous than I remember. That's neat. Because if you fucking died in the original, boy, you had to pick that save all right. Not so much here. <laughs> it's like halfway over there like, oh my god, this is Mario Olympics! <laughs> cut, 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 cut. There you go. Come on, guy. Gotta get that 16 star speed run going. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta just fight it again. God, it's been fucking years since I last even touched Mario 64. Damn it, I can't get it open. Oh, it took control from me. Hey, Watch there we go. <laughs> you, saw, you saw me try. There was an attempt. <laughs> No, I'm more impressed by the fact you actually went between its legs and didn't take damage. That's that's actually impressive, not yeah, gonna lie. The dodge frames are pretty fucking generous in this game. Or at least in this version. It's also kind of funny that they still don't give most of the shades their names in this version. Because they have names listed in Grimoire Near and shit. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Time to buy a copy from a mysterious old guy at a flea market who just seems to want to get rid of it because you haven't played it in years. Yeah. <laughs> How many fucking stories start with that? It's pretty much the biggest running in joke at this point. Yes, you are. Yeah, it's okay that no one likes you. Just accept it. It's too late for us now. It's too late for everything. We're too far gone. That's why we. Continue to finish getting the HP up the maximum. So, yeah, Kaine and maybe Tyran also having that uh, same moment of maybe we are the baddies, but we're so far gone. Fuck it. I. I. I once again, I will forever love the one thing that Kaine has done in this game that seems just like a little bit out of character but just close enough to the mark that it's still in character the her kicking the door open and going got it <laughs> 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 like the, the her tone of voice was very clearly uh improv on the spot and it was like laura bailey going she's definitely happy that she kicked that door open because she's been wanting to do it for a while <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's Kaine. You, you, you think she's not happy with just solving things by beating the shit out of it? This is clearly the person who thinks that she can totally find the jukebox and is mad that it doesn't work, so she just slices the fucking thing in half. Well, no, it's more the it looked cool as fuck when I kicked it open sort of thing. <laughs> hey.
doesn't even get the full its HP out. It just no, it doesn't because we're just doing that much damage with this fucking thing. Look at that. I'm not sure if this was one of those bosses where you get XP every time you empty its health bar and you're just leveling up like crazy during this section. Oh, I'm so glad there's not a lot of games that do that. But at the same time, I, I want there to be more. I remember that was actually a trick in uh, the original version of FF4 because the uh, if you kill the Mega Sisters in the wrong order, they revive each other. Mm -hmm. So you can just farm them out that way if you keep Tella's MP up. You, you can max your, your uh, level out in the game really early that way. But it's so fucking long to do it. Okay, now I gotta go through. You see, download and get a really weird and get a really version where it uh, hardly works and does some weird shit. And when you beat the first castle, you get a police forensics report about a murdered person instead. What the fuck? What? No! Open the door! You can't fight that thing on your own! Oh, is this one of those weird fucking creepy pasta Super Mario? Yeah, uh, this is like talking about uh, creepy pasta Mario ROM hack someone made. Yeah. I bet you that shit like looks really crazy when you actually load it into a uh, SNES Classic because SNES Classic can pull the game's cover from the ROM. Huh. Yeah. I, I know the PS1 Classic can also do that, which is part of what people discovered because they realized, oh, this thing is worth way more as just being an emulator box. It's a damn good emulator box too, which is kind of kind of like pisses me off. Whack! Knock it off already. Let's go. I wonder if her wearing the gloves actually makes that uh, dampen, or it actually no, makes it hit harder. It hits harder. Okay. As as somebody who has been told uh, that like if you have a glove on, it hurts a lot more because you're you're um, the meat on your hand. Okay. Okay. Uh, the meat on your hand, like, dampens, or, uh, yeah, dampens the slap. If you have a glove on, it does the opposite. And that's a leather glove, too, at that. Oh, we're maxed on health cells. And recovery potions. <laughs> which are your full heals. Uh, Wait. hold up. I'm going to get the re recovery potion, at least, because those are... No, you're maxed out on that. Well, yeah, I was going to use one. Okay, fuck it. Since they're, so, since they're rare to begin with, I'm just going to use that instead. Just, just to say you used one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Kagura linked the Metal Gear Solid Silly Putty thing. Yeah, I've been and seeing that around and I'm so I fucking happy. Yeah, just, I believe that's called C4. Just that alone is yep. like, yeah, that's actually kind of accurate. S Silly Putty implies the existence of Serious Putty. I believe that's called C4. I keep forgetting that sometimes they do the fucking shaky cam thing with some of the shots to make it look like, oh, we're actually filming this. Honestly, this is the one game that I feel like it works the best on because it, it creates a sense of anxiety considering the story thus far. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Uh, any new dialogue? No. Just fucking mash on through. Hey, Grimoire Vice. Whoa, 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 what? Plot! <laughs> Pork chop sandwiches. I've actually never had one. It's, it's literally just pork chop burgers. That's yeah. All it is. <laughs> and I'm already not the biggest fan of pork chops as is. You know what I am a big fan of? Increasing moral ambiguity and existential dread. Let's get some more of that in. Your own desires. And we have ours. I fear it really is just that simple. <laughs> Don't speak such foolish. I, I think someone just sent. I just found one of the perfect images for this point of the game. <laughs> send that to me. Send it to me. I'll add that to the slideshow. I'm going to send that to you and I'm going to send it to Kags. Because that's amazing. Oh, that's right. Uh, she has. No, she doesn't have dialogue at this point. So no, just... so you can just completely fucking gank her with the giant sword. Tools in the hands of a master. No, I'm nothing like you. Appreciate it. It's also the best version of this song. 
Yeah, and unfortunately, because we're so overpowered, we only hear like 30 seconds of it. We'll revisit it as an outro. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, oh, that second hit is the one that really fucking gets me. Hey. I wonder if I could dark gluttony those fists. I don't think you can because they don't count as projectiles. Yeah, I mean, can dark gluttony that. Oh, never mind. Kinda already came in and fucking did it. <laughs> Kinda was on that ass like fucking. I like a metaphor that doesn't come off as extremely racist. Kind Kinda was on that ass like like a fucking uh like like a fucking cat on a new box. Kinda was on that ass on like Bezos on cocaine. <laughs> Turns out it's actually Are just sugar. <laughs> Don't die. He doesn't want to spend his billion dollars they that bad that he spends it on sugar instead of cocaine. <laughs> it's because I mean, we already talked about someone who has a candy room. Yeah. Devla. Kind of was on that ass like someone in the Bible riding to riding to a town. I can't stop it. This world is too. There's no lo dialogue in this sc uh, scene, right? No, there's no new dialogue in okay. most of these cutscenes, so I think you can skip them all the way up till Shadow Lord. Okay. Well, as a reminder, uh, the VODs have uh, the first ending, so we We've also only been at this for two hours. It felt longer for some reason because of the grinding. There's so many mentions of someone riding Don't into town on an ass in the Bible. Oh yeah, because ass means uh, donkey. Yes. <laughs> I I actually got kicked out of a church for saying that once. Oh, what? Yeah, because they were like, oh, you better stop it. And I'm like, but that's what the Bible says. And they knew I was being a, a, a fucking little shit about it. <laughs> oh, oh, right, because I'm out of... You're out of MP. <laughs> but you know what she's out of? Out of life. Yep. Slap their ass across the room. And we get the old PS3 cutscene for this. That's just been remastered, so it has the weird frame rate. Yeah. Still a good scene, though. And, and this one seems to have a slightly better frame rate than some of the other ones. Let's be No, real. it's about the same. <laughs> okay. As somebody who is actively sensitive to uh, frame rate enough to notice it, well, well, of course you are. You're a PC gamer. No, it's just when, when my uh, tiredness reaches a certain point. I, I literally see scan lines sometimes on screen. Yeah, you're a PC gamer. Oh, fuck off with that. I'm gonna get ya. Have you played Noita? I got the tentacle buff! <laughs> oh no, she's upset that we're not, that we're probably not gonna clear this, so she's using rescue to pull people off the cliff to make us reset It'll be faster. All right. <laughs> had somebody do that before oh that's the worst I yeah young, I, I hated last time i went to church the pastor was talking about the how the gay people are touched by the older, devil and stuff practically and everyone there just looked at me and i kind of got up and left but there's something Jesus. else there now something like pride you know i mean without all this i mean i couldn't have become your friend Bisexual, they were like half right, half wrong. Thank you for everything. But also still fuck them. Yeah, no, straight up. I've actually talked about if I actually run into a situation so where I go and meet like uh destroy. people who are like that, I'm just going to crank that shit up and act like a flaming fucking queen like Silvando or some shit. No, see what you do is you uh now like go Man, y'all about to make me do some cringe ass nay nays. <laughs> No, I'm trying to make them feel uncomfortable, not me. <laughs> Emil. Emil. Boing. Also, I can't believe we're actually having this fucking conversation. I over know. Right now. This scene of all fucking scenes. And then he lived happily ever after. It's like, it's like being that one kid who. Uh, oh, hold on. This is new. Oh, muting.
So yeah. Uh, King of Facade's dead. People in the mask are dead. His advisor's dead. Yeah, so in near uh, Automata, you see a machine with that mask. Yep. And that is, and there is some implication that some records of Facade were still left for them to excavate. If found even further via side quests, and that's why they're dressed that way. Mm hmm. So we can skip this. Uh, I say let's not skip it. Oh, whoop. <laughs> the button was already pressed. Uh, that was the end of that scene anyway, I think so. Okay. It's also really weird seeing that place and remembering the uh, the version in the PS3, Xbox 360 version where it was all just a bunch of like random barrels and fucking traffic. On I think I already made this joke last yeah. time we got here, but I like to imagine that it was that because that was specifically the, the, the version we got was the Poppinier version. That was just Poppinier, just shade version of Poppinier going, okay, she's going to be fucking uh, 16 next year. That means she's going to be riding a car. That means she's going to... We're going to be teaching her fuck, right. What does a car need? Uh, there's there, there's no traffic. I guess we're just going to have to put up some borders. We're just... Wait, cars need to be maintained. We're going to need some oil. We're going to need some fucking... Hey, hey, he just pulls a random shade over. You know so, so is my is my memory fucking with me here or... Is uh, headlight fluid a real thing? No, it's just like grabs a shade. You know how to drive a car, right? The shades just like. <laughs> no, they're both shades. They would understand each other. Well, I know, but it's just like he grabs a shade that's already relapsed. So all all it is is doing is making noise, and he's like, I don't know. Why I expected any different. <laughs> well, okay. So fun, no, that's the joke. Fun fact, actually. Uh, headlight fluid is apparently a thing now. What? Yes. So if your headlights are LED, they need coolant fluid. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's a thing now. So that joke genuinely can't be done. Uh, apparently... First of all, why would you have LEDs for headlights? If they're more efficient. But the, the downside about, uh, the LEDs is, uh... Whoever designed them for cars forgot to put heat sinks on them. Or they deliberately avoided that so they could sell you another product because things like that are totally a legitimate thing people do. Yeah, that is also valid. Yeah, also that fire hazard. Yeah. No, for the record, you can literally just uh, use distilled water in place of headlight and in place of the fluid and save yourself a lot of money because distilled water is non-conductive. Mostly non-conductive. It's not conductive enough to cause uh, to not cause a short on the LEDs. I don't know why, but for some reason, the groaning sound from one of the shades sounded like a fucking cat to me. We just killed a cat shade. I mean, I did make the the joke about the fucking crazy cat lady shade and her fucking shade cat. Oh my god, you see that slowdown? I did. That was beefy, boy. That gave me flashbacks to the fucking original. I think we just incidentally made a uh, Suniha Legend video. I, I think we hit <laughs> enough shades at once that it caused all the fucking brief judders to overlap like the old game used to do. Just... Mm. Oh my god. God, that was fantastic. <laughs> I mean, I mean it'll be like, I'm going to do some cringe ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cars, they have four wheels, right? Four? She's like, sometimes three. <laughs> God, you know, fucking the, you know, the first car that Shadow Lord Poppineer would get for Yona would be a goddamn Ford pickup. Oh, no. Kagura will get this joke more than you, but, uh, Shadow Lord grabs a shade and goes, do, do, you, do you think my daughter might need, like, some antidepressants after that? And then she's like, depression be gone. And that's it. <laughs> just, just, like, grabs the one shade that happens to be ambiguous amphibian. <laughs> I found some antidepressants. Depression be gone. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of his videos lately. Ah. <laughs> Dude, dudes. The dude's vocal cadence is just weirdly entertaining. And, and, and like his his delivery on a lot of jokes are really good too. 
Oh yeah, we have to slap the shit out of uh, Grimoire Wesker first. <laughs> All right, come on. Because the weapon moves so much, I keep no, whiffing. <laughs> hope to stand against the Shadow Lord. Time to globally saturate your ass. That's right. I have to. Wow. Can I can I block that? No. I believe all charge attacks are unblockables. Does that count as a charge? Uh, him in the fucking monkey ball? Yes. Okay. Well, he's out. All right. Grimoire, Grimoire near. Uh, <laughs> Grimoire Noir is now officially deconfirmed for Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, I'm stop. How the fuck am I supposed to read fucking uh, War of Bonfire of the Vanities in this shit? Oh, okay, cool. So he just doesn't take damage until the dialogue's done. Yeah, that's what I said. All bosses have like a disgusting amount of damage mitigation. Oh my god, look at his attack speed. Holy shit. Yeah, remember, it's basically just like a two times version of your uh, move set from the PS3 original. But look at those jank ass animations. Oh, come on. You're doing this for him? I'm tired of this world and everybody in it. But I'll become his sword one last time. It's gonna farm some HP. Just get some little regen ticks off him. I think we're good. We see little, but we're like, we're actually getting pretty sizable ticks considering. Well, we probably also have enough HP to tank hits that it cancels out. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was going in, gonna go into fucking Crazy Frog Axel F for a minute there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop trying to hit him and hit him. Okay, I think we're good to go. Just take those massive fucking chunks off. There you go. That's a good finisher right there. Right. This is gonna have new stick. someone else's body I don't want it there's another girl inside this body I can hear her she won't stop crying she says she wants to see her brother Jonah's been possessed this girl loves her brother too just as much as I do it's not right, you know? It's not right that she can't see him. It's you, isn't it? Go home. Mm. 
now. No. We, we both said no at the same time. I just forgot to unmute him for that. Sorry. Zester is gone. see this all the way through to the end uh vice you have a normal one there there we go freaking me out here vice no he just got owned on twitter it's fine <laughs> have you seen uh the kyle hill hill how to handle scientific arguments on twitter no i it haven't li it literally ends in if somebody has said something mean to you Hard cuts to him stepping outside and putting his hand on grass. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm legit, genuinely happy that touch grass has actually become an, an auto. Look, if you're upset about something somebody said on the internet, please just, like, Please just take a break from away. the internet, genuinely. <laughs> Vice has a bad case of Call of Duty radio dialogue. <laughs> There's nothing new here. I just really like this scene because it's a nice mix of just fucking funny and heartwarming. Yeah. Some headstrong idiot has decided to push me beyond my limits. I'm not skipping this. I should have taken that job as a cookbook when I had the chance. I remember Toto actually made a comment about how if Vice became a cookbook, he'd, re he'd be a really shitty one that just tells you how to prepare rice or something. <laughs> Let's go. Out of the way. I have one final task to fulfill. Where are you going? Wanted to stop him, of course. But after that, it's up to you. <laughs> I keep hearing something about an active vision and blizzards. Truly awful. You can't. I swore I'd always fight by your side. I don't know what you'd call someone who manages to weather those, but I wouldn't call him a king. <laughs> That's why I've so enjoyed our time together. But I fear this is where our journey ends. Vice! Oh, and remember what I told you about using my. Hey, welcome, Lonely head. Wolfman! Right at the tail end of this wild ride. Well, not the tail, tail end, but. Tail end of the sending. Grown rather fond of Vice. Vice. I knew you. Don't let it go to your head now. And I believe that also means we lost our augments. All oh, right, I was I was gonna dark let you one last time the the fuck with you, but no, we ha we actually have to go full in. <laughs> yeah, it looks so goofy with the fucking giant Zora, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Just 
going into the air only to be sent back. Oh, that sound is entirely him fucking crying, isn't it? Oh, yes, it Christ. is. Christ. Welcome to listening to games with headphones. Well, you'll see what fucks me up more is he could have merged with the shade and things would have probably been just perfectly fine. Here's the thing. In that mental state, would his shade even want to merge at that point? True. Because I don't think he would have. Yeah. And something we might have glossed over that I'm going to explain right now is the Shadow Lord in this context is the only Gestalt who wasn't fucked up. And by that, I mean he's the only one who successfully went through the process, which meant that they could harvest a, essentially an essence off of him that they could plug into other shades, which allowed them to maintain their lucidity and stay active for longer without relapsing, without going berserk. And by killing the Shadow Lord, that means that failsafe is gone. That means more shades are going to go berserk. More replicants are going to undergo the Black Scrawl and die. And we have uh, essentially just set in stone the slow extinction of humanity at large, unwittingly. I was about to say, we can't turn the camera around, but no, we can. We have somewhat control over this. Which also emphasizes the near that we played in the prologue was technically the Shadow Lord. Mm-hmm. Uh, here, you can have this cookie. We're getting a uh, finishing up this too. I'm already full. This again? That's what you said yesterday. Yes. You haven't been eating anything lately. Just, just straight up. That's all I have to say. Yes, humanity's fucked, and we are to blame. Come on. At least in at some least part. Take half. But all you wanted to do was save your sister, and you didn't know what you were crashing headfirst into. And that's what came of it. Because the fucked up thing is that's all the Shadow Lord wanted too. Because he was literally half of you. He was man bun. Just yep. to emphasize both versions of uh, near here may have fucked up. And all of his friends are gone. I don't think they were even friends. They were just tolls of him not being active. And the connotation is they were his friends that were killed. We don't see them interact or Thanks anything, girl, though, and it seems like he doesn't lift a finger for any of them. It might have been a thing that they, everybody was aware of that's like, yeah, you, we understand. No, trust me. We'll go where we need to be. Uh, I, I'm more of the mind that uh, Shadow Lord Nier is more the inverse of his original version where he just doesn't care about anything but Yona. Fair enough. Because, as I mentioned before, and I'm going to keep going over this in, first of all, in full, now that we have that extra context, and yeah. also because you said we might want to talk over the ending theme once the vocals kick in. Yeah, well, I could literally just do this. No, keep it going. I think it's good background music. Oh, I was just gonna keep uh un unmute the VOD track and just run that. Uh, but I'll be disputing it anyway, so it's already too far. But anyway, so I already mentioned this, so once more from the top. The reason I wanted to play Dragon Quest 3 as the bridge between playing Yakuza 7 and then uh playing this game is because so much of this game is built on taking what is considered many standard pillars of uh, a JRPG, many traditional elements of that story, and directly challenging them. The brother version of the protagonist was explicitly stated by Yosuke Saito to be designed to look like the typical look good-looking do-gooder type of protagonist. The Shadow Lord is referred to as Mao, or uh, Demon King in the Japanese version, which is the title that so many primary villains in uh, JRPGs, or antagonists rather, have had ever since Zoma in Dragon Quest 3. Uh, Magus from Chrono Trigger, for instance, is called that in the Japanese version. 
which further emphasizes the plot twist with him later. And you think that because you're playing the protagonist, because you are the one who is going through everything, that automatically makes what you are doing right. That makes what you're doing justified. That makes you the good guy. Everything you're doing is leading up to something working out in the end in some capacity. And if you get just ending A, it sort of feels that way, except for the feeling that something is wrong. Even with the knowledge that the Shades were really the souls of humanity all along, then you play through the game through Route B, and you see the consequences of those actions. Yep. You see every boss that you took out, their death is given weight. There's those question marks again. <laughs> we don't know what that's about. We're not going to know what that's about for a while, but we know Kira Buckland's in here somewhere. Same with Kyle McCartney. Yeah, Curly. But, uh, but yeah, every death is given weight. Every person that you put down, they had goals. They had aspirations. They had a role in this world that they and a purpose that they wanted to serve. And you cut them down. You took that away from them. And the worst part is, you didn't even know that's what you were doing this entire time. You had no way of knowing, because both sides had no way of communicating with each other, mm -hmm. which is, again, part of one of the major cruxes of this story, about justice, the pursuit of justice, and what defines that justice. Because at the end of the day, both sides were not inherently wrong, but were fucking up in just severe enough of ways to be getting under each other's feet and causing this to happen. The Shadow Lord ultimately had a sympathetic goal. He wanted to restore his sister. The only problem is, that meant technically taking some other version of his of another person's sister away from them to make that happen. That meant that in order for the Gestalt to thrive, the consciousness that sprung up in the replicants that was not planned to happen in the first place would then be quashed, and those identities would be completely erased in some capacity. Something that uh, the Shade version of Yona was very clearly not okay with. Yeah. And then there's also the problem with... Because Yona was already uh, undergoing some version of the Black Scrawl before she underwent the Gestalt process, that brings to mind the distinct possibility even... Well, we don't know this for a fact, but even if they were merged, we don't know how well that would have taken. Yep. We don't know if that would have fixed her anyway. If she would have just been damned from the very beginning. But at the end of the day, that's kind of what a lot of this is. Challenging the ideas that are sort of taken for granted from a JRPG. Some of it for humor, like we see in a lot of side quests. But a lot of it for drama, as we see in the main story. I, keep, I also, every time I see a PTW and Paul Dewan, I keep going like, oh man, they, they were participating in a lot of things. And then I remember, oh yeah, they're literally Square Enix's international uh, QA and cert testers. Yeah. <laughs> but. Which is, for those who are wondering with Paul Dewan, uh, that's a reference to one of Squ uh, Squaresoft's oldest games, uh, literally Paul to Win. It's, a, it's an old fucking racing game that they did before uh, they went full RPG machine. Yeah, after Final Fantasy took off. Mm-hmm. And, uh... But, yeah. Uh... That's, that's, that's my piece on it. This game is literally a very thorough deconstruction of the general, uh... traditional makeup of a JRPG, which is especially ironic that it's a Square Enix published game since they helped establish those tent poles to begin with. Oh, yeah, by the way! Silver Lightning! I forgot he makes fucking bouncy ball noises. Yep. Wow, that was crazy. That's all you have to say on that, okay? How well, my sister's body holds up. Kind of hard to move when you're just ahead. I wonder where everybody is. I can't wait to see them again. But before that can happen, there's some stuff I gotta do first. Like finding a body, or at least some legs. Let's see if this is extended. I sure hope Kaine and Vice haven't killed each other yet. I swear, you leave them alone for one minute. Oh, okay, it's not extended. You know what would have been great if we had that on the fucking hot bar? 
for that last scene there. The oh. Sonic spin dash. <laughs> There's ending B. We're starting to get fascinating little markers on this. And you know what? That's still not everything. Yup. We still got one more. Obtain all the weapons in the game and you'll be able to make one final decision that affects the story. So basically go through the whole game as if you were doing ending B again and there's still one more thing. Should I go ahead and say it? No. Okay. No, I mean, hold up. I'm gonna, uh, one moment. Okay, 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 okay. So let's start. Ending C. Or root C rather as it's called. the load screen so this is going to be like 80 percent the same as as root b so we can just skip most of these cutscenes if you want all righty and we can skip the kindness memory section as well also yeah uh meanwhile near automata uh can we skip this or do we we can skip okay so hit now hit no okay so kagura is mentioning meanwhile large parts of near automata are commentary on games and gaming as a whole the ending is super, is super blatant about that. Yeah. 100%. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that did like nothing. Yeah, I did that on purpose just to see, just to see how much it would do. Anger this creature must have. Oh, this, this boy scaled. No, you're just not hitting the attack gauges. And again, the damage mitigation when there's commentary oh yeah it's not the blade but the skill of the user strike it down there you go see now they're breaking much faster aren't they they're just magically exploding magically delicious Chapel! i wonder what a shade actually Chapel! i wonder what shades taste like actually probably black licorice horrible probably horrible so black licorice Black licorice can be good if it's made correctly. Yeah, but that's the problem. How much of it is actually made correctly? <laughs> Almost never. Exactly. And that's the larger problem, let's be real. We've gotten to the point where we can literally just magic everything to death. <laughs> Frosted shades. <laughs> I mean, we're definitely putting this one on ice. Yep. For the third time now? Give him a little squeeze. Ooh, ooh, oh. Happy birthday! <laughs> din, 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 din. Yay! I still wonder if that's implying that shades have bone structure or at least something resembling an exoskeleton. Uh, no, it's probably popping a bunch of vessels. Yeah, I could see that. But then again, they still have to have human-like structure since most of them are human souls. True. All right, so I think we're officially... Tell me when. Tell me when I uh, don't need or when I shouldn't skip. Right. Like at the moment I get the opportunity to hit the button. So should I? Yes. Skip. Any new dialogue? Oh yeah, that joke. No, no, no new dialogue. Oh yeah, and that joke is totally in vogue because 3.0 plus 1.0 came out, and I heard it's pretty fucking good. I need to watch the whole set. Yeah, I still need to watch all the rebuild movies. Kaine waking from her long petrified sleep. I think this is automatic, so we can't skip it anyway. Neil's unflagging kindness. But yeah, I heard Probably it is really good and actually a super satisfying ending. Like good. Like it is the most it's definitive. It's over. We're done. Like fuck off. Kind of, kind of ending. Off. In like a really good way. And <laughs> I, I don't know how it ends, but I I'm gonna be excited to see. So we, I think it would we, actually be amazing if it actually ends on like a vaguely unambiguous happy ending and everyone just like goes on to have a fucking normalish life after everything. Blitzing through this again. These, these, these runs are going to get uh, shorter to this point at this point. 
yeah, because A, we're much higher level anyway. And yeah. B, we're going to be skipping a bunch of dialogue now that there's like barely anything new here. There's a couple of things. Hopefully you'll tell me when they happen. Like as soon as it reaches that gets to that point. It's literally like three cutscenes and an extra and uh the alternate run version they of the Louise boss fight. For That's it. Gotcha. Because we never actually cleared the DPS check. Oh the yeah. From the horror in the shades. <sighs> Which will we be doing that this time? Really, how can I blame Devil and Popola? Like, I'm going to tell you just straight up the, the three scenes that are new to this and are specifically to this version, and they're just some talking scenes with Devil and Popola between arcs. That's it. Okay. So, if you see it cut to Devil and Popola, that's new shit. Don't skip it. Gotcha. Practicing my fucking cycling presses over here. And you're way better at button mashing than I am. I don't have the reflex for that shit. And yes, I know that the the trick of fucking grab the controller and shake it against your finger a little. Like that, yeah. Wait. There's there's better methods, uh, but you gotta have the controller for it. This is one of the controllers you can do it with. Yeah. The buttons are spaced so particularly. You can actually uh, tape specific things to the buttons and uh, go with it. And it's actually like a little flatter too at that. Yeah. These controllers are designed specifically for mashing. Hey, Emil. Once again, uh, the 8-bit do SN30 Pro Plus. I, I want to get the Pro 2, but I'm sorry, they're but sold perpetually sold out. I'm trying to make this as fast as possible because this is ad nauseum at this point. Meanwhile, I'm actually going to see if there's any fucking uh, what's it from earlier because you mentioned them earlier and even though i said i wasn't super interested i'm curious to try one because i, I want to at least see if i can say that confidently that i'm not super into it sleep well hey. that's the uh cinnamon yeah. cinnamon sugar one try not to crumple that into the mic too much uh, I'm holding it down under, so hopefully it's not making as much noise as it could be. Uh, oh yeah, I think on uh, another run, our progress in Recycled Vessel is also reset. No, that's fine. We got the weapons. Yeah, but I just mean if you want to get more more uh, mats between streams. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and rush to the... Uh, to facade... Not facade. Yeah, facade. Uh, progress through talking with Devil and Popola because that unlocks the canal boat, remember? Oh, yeah. Even though that, like, doesn't save that much Devil time, at first. But... Oh, look at that red X! Yeah. Gotta have at least one. Gotta have your one Justin McElroy moment for yep, the stream. Yep, for one per stream. Uh, do I need to? Not just fucking blitz through it. Just blitz net code right through it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh! Ah! <laughs> that smear is so fucking aggressive. It's like some of the fucking hit sparks in Street Fighter V. Yeah. Just that. Woof. Like I don't think the I don't think the hit effects in V look bad. Really, it's just the fact that some of them have that like ink brush look to them. Yeah. Is more what I mean. Especially when it's uh fucking. Oh uh, Ryu. Not Ryu. Uh, what's her name? That everybody thought was a Blanca replacement. Uh. I, I, the Brazilian, uh, strong girl. Uh, Laura? Yeah, I want to say. All right, so is there anything on this? No, nah, just go through. Also, by the way, I've heard Akira looks really fucking good in SF5. Good. Like, she is super good. She's almost entirely just a rival school's character who got ported into Street Fighter, and that's exactly what I would have wanted. Just a little fucking, just the, just, just the slight tracking on her head makes it even better. Yeah, just. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just have fun doing that and I really want to do a bit for that, but it's like, no, I think we get the point of that. <laughs> oh yeah, also this room has been uh, reset. Yep. So we now have all the old, st uh, all the original batch back in there. Yep. From uh, from the first half. Speed run. Me. 
Oh yeah, shit. I I don't know why this is hitting me just now, but I just realized my joke about saying that uh, Popola probably fucking vapes How takes on a whole new uh, context now that we know she's an android. Yeah. Yup. Excellent to know the canal is finished. Okay, now we're good. Hopefully this puts our days of running all over behind us. It doesn't. It yeah. It doesn't. We can move it cuts down on it a little, but it doesn't completely remove it. it as often as we need. In fact, it it is almost just as bad in a lot of places. Zoom. Zoom. And God, that looks so fucking goofy with the whole uh, ass sword. Giant fucking paddle. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Like it hey. literally looks like we've got a fucking canoe paddle on our back that's just been turned into metal. Yep. Also. <laughs> What's Prozy do who made that one uh fucking short short bit about like playing a game you've already played and skipping all the dialogue? Yeah, just a, uh, 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 and, and and the guy just gets increasingly annoyed and tries to tell the player off, just like stop it, you little sh There's actually a game that does that way if you skip dialogue too quickly, that's supposed to be important. Uh the developer put in alternate dialogue for that that literally the first word is the dude is dude bitching out, you have to hear the first word to progress. So it's just like, please stop doing that right now. <laughs> God, all these fucking scorpions. I know they they, they get uh, more frequent every time. I think they wind up uh, fucking off a little after you clear out the wolves. I guess the shades wind up uh, pushing them out too somehow. Probably. <laughs> I know that video and I'm definitely gonna be playing it. Okay, so we gotta go to the smithy, which should be just over here. Yeah, just around the corner. Oh, that's got a barrier on it. Yep. Fucking hell. Yep. Yep. This doesn't. I like how at this point they don't even bother with the spiel and they're just like, hey. Oh yeah, we missed the Phoenix Spear, which is... And there! Every weapon in the game! It was that easy. It was that easy. I mean, on the bright side, we did it before we had to do, to do uh, ending C anyways. But it's just like, I can't believe I forgot to buy the Phoenix Spear. I can't believe either, because that's one of the best spears. It is. Let's see the stats on it raw, actually. Now we're good to go. Uh, Phoenix Spear. Yeah, that's a good spear. That's like a damn good spear. Ooh. What is it compared to the sunrise? Because that's our best one right now. Uh, 490, 531. It gets like just And that's at level shy. three. Yeah. Like that. And then uh, we got this cool spear, which never gets used because it's not great. I mean, it has a neato look if you're into like tridents and shit, I guess, but. It's only purpose is to strip armor. <laughs> this is one of the ones that's like its sole purpose is to strip armor. It, it, it just looks like a fucking metal broom. This is the one that actually is like. Here's your here's your fucking old reliable right here. Here's your fucking yeah. Dark Souls partisan. Uh, is is partisan the the one that's supposed to be super good? Halberd. Hal Halberd. Okay. And for anyone who might be watching this in post who's about to tell us about PvP versus PvE weapons, please shut up. No one here cares. <laughs> I was not going to go that route, but all right. Am I wrong? I mean, you're not. Good. Okay. Then so we're all on the same page. We get to blitz through this whole fucking section. We might be ending C at the end of the stream, actually. No, never mind. I see, I see, I see the timer. Yeah. We, we still got to go. We'll, we'll we, be most of the way through. I think that apart from Louise, we can do all the other bosses off stream. Uh, no, I said we do them on stream anyways, just for that comedic. Uh, Ju just so that we scale. can MST3K for the whole through the whole thing anyway. Yeah, now, now that we have like all the main information, we can genuinely turn this into horrible com comedy. Yep. Like later seasons of MST3K. Where, where, the, where they suddenly decided that they wanted to have their jokes be really fucking bad in, in, in a oh no way uh, you know the humor that carried on to riff tracks uh. <laughs> they've gotten they've gotten better but 
Was, was the was the reboot of MST3K any good? I heard some decent things. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I don't have a Rift Track subscription, so I haven't. No, I mean the one that had like Patton Oswalt on it. Oh, ah, you know, that's a good question. Because I heard it's actually pretty good. The only complaint I heard is that they go really hard on like keeping the jokes going and going and going, which can be a detriment for some people. Yeah. Like it, it's it's more them coming off of Rift Tracks again. Which again, some people watch them because Rift Tracks. But, oh no, we gotta go to Lost Shrine, that's right. Yeah. And then, uh, fortunately we're in front of the ferry anyways. Yeah. I was like, do I have to go to the Lost Shrine suddenly? Yeah, that's the first place oh, that the story sends you, remember? Yeah, look, my brain just kinda, the moment I see credits, it just dumps that process out for some reason. Got to get the ju uh, the one McElroy uh, situation per... Yep, thank you. Because it's literally only after we made fun of him for doing that that you started, like, having those moments of forgetting the Red X exists. Yeah. And I feel like that's that's God having one on you, like the like the, like a fucking Tower of Babel situation. Yeah, they're just... It's just like... Oh, no, we already see this. That's right. Yeah, there, there is nothing new. Hoi! Oh, wait. Oh, I can't skip it. Come on, you! Alright. Don't wear that thing down when you gotta mash it to, like, kill these things. I gotta fucking... fight any one of these anyway, so this one has a defect. Hmm. But is it the kind of defect that lets you wave dash? <laughs> no, it's the kind of defect that, if you're selecting something on the menu, sometimes you hit right. There we go. <laughs> now All is right with the complete. world. <laughs> man, Big old I, paddle boat, man. First I infect you with my Xenogears brain worms. Now I have you completely <laughs> sold on Iron Will simping. I've never not been like in on Iron Will. What are you talking about? This thing's a surfboard. <laughs> you certainly seem to have a good job of downplaying it earlier because you were so like, I don't know, man. Every time I tried to sell you. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm cool. <laughs> That's why I was downplaying it. <laughs> because now that I have dark gluttony, I could fuck with you. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a bite of my fucking pastry. <laughs> your little pay, your little pretzel bread pastry. Yep, gonna see how this actually is. Cause yeah, I, I think it's good. I love I, it. I I don't know how pretzel like I get salty and sweet. I just don't get how pretzel bread works with like pastry pastry shit. It's, I, th to be honest with you, it's literally just pretzel bread with, like, uh, sweet glaze. That's all it is. Eh, I'm not sure how I feel about, like, I'm generally not someone who- Just bite it. Just bite it. I know, I'm trying to pull it out first is all. I don't want to make a huge mess. I'm just someone who's not into the idea of, like, sweet pretzels a whole lot. I just like him, like, either just as they are or dipped in, like, some molten fucking nuclear orange cheese. That's how I like my pretzels. Fair enough, fair enough. Zip, sop, zoopity, bop, and we're going through the dialogue. Wish there was a faster way of doing this. I don't know. Would have been fun if we could have, like, a... Speaking of MST3K, uh, if it wasn't for the fact I know an LP already did this, it would have been cool if we could have, like, pre-staged some stuff that's just, like, a filter over me doing my Tyran impression, and he's doing, like, his own, like, weird fucking edgy humor Cliff Notes version of the plot as it's been going. Right. Oh, hello. Where you get to the Forest of Myth and it's just fucking shade colors text that just says blah, 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 pulsing over. Blah, and over blah, blah, blah. As blah. it just has like the BHS scan lines as it fast forwards. <laughs> where, you just, where you just get into a situation of, hold up. Oh yeah, because now that it's fixed, you can do that. Where, where it's just like, oh, is it even, oh, there we go. So you're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, we can't hear it, so just imply that a record scratch noise was going on. Hey, level 36. That did come through the stream, right? Uh, I, I, I saw the meter pop, but... I didn't hear it, so it might have come through on the viewer's end only. Oh, yeah, and the box pushing puzzles reset again. Yeah. Because apparently, the, because apparently one of the shades is apparently the incarnation of the fucking box ghost from Danny Phantom or some <sighs> shit. Remember that time in Danny Phantom where he murdered a guy? I do. I was joking, but I totally remembered that there was actually a thing that that indicates that he actually has a murder record. 
penis. I mean, how many superheroes don't at this point? Let's be real. Omni Man, it's dummy thick. That meme's really dumb. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, I don't get it. And people spam it a lot. It's it's literally just Omni Man is dummy thick and he's booty dancing to a song. That's that's the meme. Everyone that's ever like explained the meme, they're like, no, it's not funny to me. And I'm like, well, it was not really that funny to begin with. So what were you missing? You know what I'm missing that people not seem don't seem to be hinging on as much or like, uh, or I most likely I missed out on it. The fact that he's voiced by J.K. Simmons, which technically means he shares a voice with Cave Johnson from Portal. That's actually really good. Yeah. Which makes me sad that I that either I'm unaware of it or no one's done. I th I see those shades clipping through the wall. Hello. Yeah. No, I see them too. I'm just ignoring them. They're still following you. Yeah, they're trying their hardest. <laughs> oh my god, that's Whoop. amazing. Whoop. They're just like standing outside, just laughing, going, he doesn't know about block pushing puzzles. Hey guys, he's doing it again. Check it out. <laughs> he's he, going to fuck it up again. He doesn't even know that these doors open outward. That's that genuinely still makes me so mad about these puzzles. Okay, no, that one opens inward. Fair enough. That's the last one. But what was I gonna? Oh yeah, uh, I'm hoping that at some point I see someone do a mashup where they take fucking footage of Omni Man from Invincible and play it over the infamous Cave Johnson lemons rant. You know the one where he's like, if life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. I'm gonna burn your house down with the make, lemons. Make a, demand to see life's manager. manager. And tell him that you're gonna make a combustible lemon that's gonna burn your house you're down. You're gonna tell the manager what am I supposed to do with these? I think we did that super out of order. I don't care. No, you you did it super out of order. I was trying to go into the whole sequence, but you were just like, eh, whatever about it. I I was just trying to do like the clip. I wasn't trying to do the whole thing, just enough uh, yeah. that people would get it if it, they heard it once. People memed it so hard that if if most people don't have it memorized by now, uh, is it really this way? Uh. Uh, let's see. Uh, no. Yeah, you you were going the right way before, and then you doubled back. Ugh. But yeah, Portal 2... Playing too much quick, thinking I can walk, walk across those rafters. Uh, yeah, but... Fuck, what were we saying about Portal 2? Like, how it was, uh, something about how aggressive the memes were? Ooh! Yeah, they'll be, they'll be fine. I think we can get dental minute bats from them, actually, if you want to try. Nah, I just want to be done with this. Fair enough. Oh, right. I have to... You have to pull that out to make a gap and then push it down. The <laughs> shades from just... Yet again. He doesn't know that he has to push the door, not pull. <laughs> there you go. God. Yeah, just... it's a fucking push door. Every single time until the very last one where it's like, okay, that one's a little more forgivable. Ah. Uh... Pushing blocks. It's... See, what's even funnier is like one of these days we should totally do a, a uh, block push puzzle game and just go. And this is what what Faye's doing now. <laughs> no, just play Tetris. Just play some Tetris 99 and pretend that every single uh, opponent that we're facing is a shade. <laughs> play near music over it the entire time. Oh, that I would actually not be a bad uh, idea for some music mixing if they put if they were able to incorporate like uh, near music there and it actually increases in tempo or goes through the different dynamic ranges as you're getting further in i mean they would uh first of all square Enix would actually have to care a little bit more about nintendo than they already do but just of late has been getting progressively less again despite sony screwing them over numerous times there's one shade but we needed to kill so many before the door opens hello <laughs> that does literally nothing to you at this point. It really does. That's why it's like, oh. Oh my god. And you want to know what's even funny? Remember, the level cap in this game is 99. Yeah, and we're. I have gotten to 36. as far up as level 50 before. And that took active effort to do a bunch of power leveling because, uh. Revisiting the prologue sequence via the magic stone lady in the. Uh, the Lost Woods. After you complete that side quest, you can do that as many times as you want to farm shade drops. Nice. 
<laughs> Me aggressively trying to skip the cutscene. <laughs> Kinda. So I had a thought. Look, uh, from now on, since Gretel seems to be making friends with a lot of relapsed shades that use the small models that are used to indicate children, does that imply that Gretel and Hansel were adolescents? That's a good chance that's the case. Staging a protest? Fun. So you're staging a protest? That line is. I forgot about that. That line always gets me. It always gets like a smile out of me. Emil seems like the type of boy who would literally hear, "Oh, you're you're pushing for a union? Sure, let me join." Like he doesn't even know what a union is, but he supports you anyways. Yep, exactly. I love camping with Kaine. Sometimes we sit around the fire and tell stories or roast. Emil, that's enough. I got a fucking image to make. That's right. This is the one that's like makes no fucking sense. Because you have to have it on the proper lines. Scrape. I do kind of wonder what exactly it was they were roasting because we don't have any indication that marshmallows were a thing that survived the apocalypse. Probably bore me. Yeah, probably me. Kind of seems like the per kind of person that would literally scream at somebody for the for it for there being no meat in a dinner. Probably. You just hand her like a fucking salad or like a fucking uh, pita bread platter, kind of like we had for dinner. Uh, la uh, I think it was last night. A couple nights ago. And she would literally lift the plate up and look under it to see if there were like bacon bits or something, and just stare at you like a fucking dog that got handed like uh, a toy they didn't want. That wasn't a kill move, but that was definitely treated like one. It was close enough. She's just like, what the hell is this? I got any bacon bits in the back. <laughs> like this, she is definitely the kind of person where she would take a pimento cheese ball, roll it in a bunch of chopped bacon, and just eat that thing with her bare hands. Just walks around with it. Not even with her bare, bare hands. She's got like just enough civility where she has like parchment paper and she's just walking around while everybody's having a serious conversation. She's like not giving a fuck. Just. She's not even taking chips to it. She's literally just taking actual whole ass bites from it. Like treating it like it's an apple, just biting it and just staring at everyone going, y'all done. <laughs> I, didn't even want I can also believe the parchment paper a bit because remember she has that whole thing with Vice where she yeah. insists that she does actually bathe regularly and she has multiple versions of the same outfit. So she technically has clean clothes Where's for every day of the week. There's dozens of them. So she would actually probably like she would actually probably like replace her gloves too, so that way if they get stained with like uh cheese and peppers and shit, she's just like, eh, whatever, I'll throw these just, in the wash. Just pulls them out of God knows where. Just wh wherever it is, it's just behind her and that's it. <laughs> hammer space. We call it hammer space. He's kind of swinging at this point. That's what you do when you have Iron Will. Commence the swinging. Oh yeah, it forces me to. Yeah, you gotta kill all all of you gotta kill all of his friends before you can actually murder him. Oh, hold up. Uh, dark roll one to ensure that we're gonna have a clean kill ratio. Yeah. Let's see if we can get the speedrun trophy live on stream, boys. Because they all spawn behind him. Yeah, because he's trying to protect him and they aren't having any of it. Because they're like half relapsed and they're kind of not in their right mind, so they don't understand. Sunlight bad. Sunlight very bad. But I thought the song said to bury the light within me. See, that, this scene makes a lot more sense with that iron will. Yeah, it does. I think we already have the achievement for this, by the way. Uh, we have the one for Berserk Kaine. Oh. I think the only way that scene could have been better is if the moment he jumps up, you just hear, come on and slam. <laughs> this is one <sighs> son of a bitch. Whee! Damn it, damn it. Speeds. He's on me too much that I can't get out of it. Yeah. Ain't no turning back now. 
There we go. He or she, because the name's Brettel, so I imagine that implies that oh, uh, sorry, they're she. a female. Yeah. I, I literally have no way to tell. I mean, we, we, there's shades, so we can't ask, you know, ask them their pronouns out of respect, so... We, well, uh, yeah, I mean, may, may as well know what, what to call them before you murder them. That's just yeah, polite. Yeah, like... F a fucking face is like, hey, 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 before, before we go. I need to know your pronouns so I so when the when I say the dialogue it's and it, it at least sounds cool and respectful. <laughs> Tyran would totally be the kind of person to message someone on Twitter when he was still human and go, "Damn you ass fat, what's your pronouns?" <laughs> oh, we can skip this now, right? Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Did you ever actually see that there's actually a uh, concept art by the artist for this, uh, for the original artist of what Tyran might have looked like as a human? Yeah, uh, dude looked like a slime ball, like a, like start to finish. He has like, not to mention he has the weird like pseudo scouter thing on his face or whatever it was, the like blue shit. But he, but he definitely looks like someone who was kind of a slimy son of a bitch. Because apparently the reason why he doesn't have a gestalt. Oh, is we can he, interrupt this. Yeah, the reason he is using other replicant bodies. Kill on this one too? Yeah, go, go ahead and skip this one. Okay. The reason he's using other replicant bodies is because he was disgraced when he was a human in the military and as punishment, he got his uh, he got his data just fucking wiped, just deleted. So he stuck as basically a, a weird ghost thing and he knows it. So he just steals bodies every so often to keep himself from going crazy. Despite the fact he's already kind of halfway there. I love that we're just doing so much damage that it's just like, yep. <laughs> she just wakes up and she's just like, oh. Did anyone get the number of that license plate of that bus? Right. What's a bus? Oh, yeah. Tyrant's just like, ah, they need to know. <laughs> Sparkle! There we go. Yeah, we already have the achievement for this. I believe this was the first one that we got. Where we blitzed through it so hard that it was practically nothing. There's our first frag. Oh my god. What? The clipping of the cape made it look like the sword was broken again. <laughs> it's a cipher of some kind. Yeah, uh, good on this one as well? Yep. Yeah. It's a cipher, and it's, I think we can actually call this cipher. a Lewis cipher. Cipher. Uh -oh. Just yeah, well, Kaz off in the back, going. So it's not that kind of cipher, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my burger joint. Maybe get played like a damn fiddle. Actually, more fun facts. Uh, speaking of voice actors, apparently. He, he's also voiced by Robert Atkin Downs, a.k.a. Travis Touchdown. Uh, Kazuhiro Mir Miller? Yeah. yeah. that makes sense. Who I believe also voices the medic in TF2. Uh... All right, so let's go ahead and unlock Junkie. Yeah, let's see if we can upgrade anything while we're at it. Because we already got our boy up. We're like, we got the only weapon that matters. Yep, we <laughs> sure do. Fucking cancel that drop animation. I, I love that. The, I think the the fool's great sword is is better because it's one of the only weapons in the game that can hit the cap of nine nine nine. This is new. Looks like he left the village. Yeah. You think he'll be able to find all the fragments? If he doesn't, these past five years will have all been for nothing. Now that we know the location of the original Gestalt, the Shadow Lord, we have to stop his rampage. I can't believe the Shadow Lord ran off and holed up like that. I so that's my... the shades who guard the key fragments will pose to That makes a lot more sense why they're doing this. They legit did not know where the fuck the Shadow Lord even was. They were probably just like, oh, fuck, when they, when they spotted him. They were just like, uh, this is a little ahead of schedule. Fuck me. Yeah. Maybe so. But we're pretty much out of options at this point. <sighs> you having second thoughts, sis? No. The plan is all that matters. We must see the plan to completion. He is simply a tool to that end. 
I'll tell you, keeps getting my carpet fucking dirty. It ruins my vibes. The uh, Popolo just like, all right, so now that we're done with our meeting, it's time to light up. God damn it. <laughs> like devil is just, the uh, devil is the alcoholic, but she really hates smoking. Popolo is the, the smoker, but she really hates alcohol. And they're both just like, I thought I agreed to alcohol this time. She, she just like pulls out a fucking she just pulls out like a weird fucking cyberpunkish vape pen and she just like sticks it in and she just like blows out a fucking puff of air and devil is just like considering it's been how many centuries does that even do anything for you not, not anymore, anymore. <laughs> no what's what, 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 what would make probably make it even funnier is uh she has it modded to have a noisemaker on it and that's <laughs> the that's the whole reason she still does it wait no it's no just, no 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 it goes Whoa! No, 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 better, 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 better. Not a noisemaker, a kazoo. <laughs> I smoke and then I go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Kine? Hey, look, Kine? I can play Rosa's theme from Final Fantasy IV on this thing. You want to hear it? No. I was, Kine is just standing there. Menacingly. Like, she wasn't even budging or having any animations. I don't think she was supposed to be up here. No, she's just upset because she because she wanted to try, find out what a McDonald's was after hearing about it from Tyran, and she realized they're all destroyed, so she can't try their McNuggets. Been told that it was pink goo. I really like pink goo. Ty I, Tyran's I mean, like, <laughs> bet you do. <laughs> no, and it just everyone's quiet. Like, I, 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 I don't see the innuendo. You know, at least after a whole apocalypse where a weird uh, eldritch horror fell from the sky and turned people into salt due to a weird magic disease, at least under that circumstance, they finally have an excuse for the McFlurry machines constantly breaking. <laughs> the parts have been out for years! Also, everyone who is supposed to maintain them turned into fucking salt and is raining from the sky. We can skip this, right? We can. Okay. Oh no! Machine. My name is Khalil. My name is P33. Why is your name P33? Because I took a piss 33 times before I was assembled. Why did you do it over a cliff? What the hell, man? Now time to take a piss. You could, you could make that joke in Noita. If we ever stream Noita with you with you on board. You're definitely going to be doing that every time I break out a potion and just throw it over a cliff. Man. Hopefully there wasn't anything new in that. No. Okay. Same Again, it's literally just the extra talking scenes with Devil and Popola and uh, the other version of Louise. That's it. That's all that's new in Rootsy. <laughs> I still love this. Just the crash happening and those two being like, wow, that was scary. The noise of the intruders caused the structure to fail. They should have proceeded with more caution. Just this uncaring response from them both. They're just both so understated, like they're just like, oh, wow, that's horrible. But not enough that they're like sounding actually genuinely mortified. They're just like, man, that sucked. So anyways. <laughs> the junk heap. Perhaps we should speak to the brothers. They might know something. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. It's the merrily, one time. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And then you got the, anno the annoyed uh, repetition version. Merrily, 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 merrily. Why did you sound like a fucking Disney dwarf there? That's that's the joke. Also, thank you, Lonely Wolfman, for the Twitch Prime sub hey. on your third month. Splash out of the cup and the cup starts lagging in frame rate. Woo! I'll fix that You're later. Little one, aren't you? Oh, I just had a horrible fucking idea. What? If we could actually edit the fucking bits like some people do, just make them the fucking uh baby shade balls. I I can. If you can find me uh, a gif of it or a PNG of it, I will do it. I'll see if I can find one. How fares your brother? My brother. It's okay. My brother's been dead for years. Then we can technically say that everyone involved in the stream is killing children, not just us. 
Yeah. Well, I say us, but it's mostly been you at the helm for that. So uh, yeah, you are entirely see. the one at fault and not me. <laughs> we now have three iron wheels. I can repair it if you'll fix it. <laughs> I'm only lost. Me bouncing my leg right now is being very impatient with this. Was there a fucking game out there? I'm trying to remember one where you could like do something absurdly stupid and actually dual wield great swords. Uh, that's a number of games. But like one where it actually kind of worked. Oh, yeah, where it kind of worked, that's a different story. Like, fucking, there, there's a uh, co there's a couple of Netsume uh, RPG dating sim games that they've released where, like, yeah, sure, you can wield two great swords, but, like, it's why? There's no reason to. It's not a child. <laughs> Sounds like you went into a dangerous area for the sake of the business. Uh, no, we gotta go down. Old habits. We don't have to grind anymore, so we could just blitz through this section. Yeah, we just gotta take out one P33 and that's it, we're done. Yep. You gotta give it a good swing with the big boy paddle! Uh, I believe if we choose to go check for a letter, we can just go right to Louise and we'll be able to get most of the new content just out already in this one stream. Yeah. Oh, should we go ahead and say what game we're going to be doing next, since it does kind of play topical to this as well? Uh, we'll save it for the last stream. Okay. Do you think he was ever truly happy? Just making his little brother happy would have been enough. That's what being an older brother is like. Hmm, if you say so, boy. God, we're full on every, almost every resource we can get here. Oh, we got something new. We got a large metal gear. How much damage does this even do at this point? Oh, decent damage. It's just impractical. Not enough to be worth using. Because I could literally just do that yeah. and, and they're dead. Yep. Tough talk for someone who's in iron will range. I, so I, I we should probably talk about this on stream even though we like I've already had the talk on discord It is still transpiring by the way. Uh, it is really sad to see link linkara have Signs of a spoon of a spoonie moment hmm. where he just starts uh, like Just starts going a little too crazy on people who are giving him shit and it's gonna become a self-fulfilling prophecy at some point, I'm sure. Which is really depressing because he was the last of Channel Awesome that didn't have anything wrong with him. Like, he, Doug Walker has some shit going on with him too. We all know about that because that's the, one of the bigger reasons why Channel Awesome failed to begin with. Yep. Him and his, mainly his brother, but Doug is just complicit to, just as complicit to the situation as, uh, Rob Walker. Yeah, I, I think that was his name. Uh, but yeah, like June twenty eighth, man. The exact day that I saw on Twitter was the moment that he started obsessing over some dude giving him shit. I, oh god, that's crowded. And because it, uh, yeah, that works just fine. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. Like, the, the dude's gotten sensitive over, uh, like, an old, old thing he did as a teenager, and he's br really sensitive about it, but nobody has, uh, like, just said to him, dude, we've all done cringy shit as, as a teenager, it's okay. Just, just don't be self-conscious about it. Like, we, we all have moments where we all just go, oh god, I did that as a teenager! And then we move on. Boy, how do you still have some of those but unfortunately some people don't cope as easily with it i guess and it feels really bad because like the, again link is a good dude from what i've seen like his head you when he's not getting upset about something his head's in a good place it's just fuck <laughs> oh, oh yeah wait, we got the memory alloy that we need to progress yeah, uh, we still have to progress forward, right? Uh, no, we can go back. Okay. 
Unless you want to get more mats. Nah, we're good. We got everything we needed here. We already did our one. Well, I believe we're we're about as good as it's gonna get when it comes to this place. Yeah, unless you want to do more. Nah, we're just gonna blitz. But yeah, it, it, it feels really bad because like during the time of me seeing what was going on and what spurred the entire situation, which for the record on on the twenty uh, June twenty eighth, the guy did the one thing that is like kind of fucked up. Like you should. If you ever get a, a larger audience, never do this. Uh, he more or less did the, wow, you're talking mad shit for somebody with like this many views. Ah, the Liam Robertson move. Yeah. Oh wait, he's done that as well? Uh, when he was compiling that uh, big thread on Lulu, oh. there were people who were saying that he was going a little too far with gathering information since he was admitting that people were sending him like basically docs and uh, he was actually calling them irrelevant and telling them to just pl flat out shut up. God fucking damn. And then he privated the thread for a bit, or he privated his whole Twitter account rather. Jesus, can we, st can people stop turning out to be shitty for like one fucking year? I'm like getting kind of tired of it now. <laughs> like I go from, wow, I look up to this guy to, wow, this dude's a fucking scumbag. That's why there are even people who haven't done much of anything wrong just outright saying, yeah, d genuinely, don't look up to people on the internet. I'm not saying that to be cynical. I'm saying you're going to find out some shit that's probably going to surprise you and it's going to hurt. Yeah, that I'm starting to worry that like, because I've openly admitted that I look up to Proton John and he's like, yeah, don't. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Well, it's also just most of these people aren't asking to be role models anyway. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm still going to fucking look up to the guy because the dude's cool as fuck. He was he was definitely a pioneer of like early Let's Play shit, so that I respect him. For. Yeah. And he the fact that he's another example of people who can have a preference in things and genuinely not let that be their sole defining defining personality trait. Never mind the fact that he's been able to adapt so well over the years with like trying uh different shit over the years with his own channel with streams with uh runaway guys and all that shit yeah i still can't believe that mother that crazy motherfucker actually sat through or agreed to sit through an entire front to back playthrough on and off with uh multiple recording sessions of fucking dokapon kingdom we just got damascus steel yep that is a potential drop from crates here huh, okay but yeah, people who can actually do a full fucking playthrough of Dokapon Kingdom are built different. Yes, they are. Oh, my wrist is starting to hurt. <sighs> you want me to take over for a little bit since this is mostly familiar territory so you can let it rest? Nah, it should be fine. It's this controller. All right, may as well at least take a break after this because we're overdue. We'll see if we can... We've been doing a lot of streams without breaks, like start to finish. Yeah, l let's see if we proc Louise after this and then uh, regardless of whether or not we do, we'll take a quick uh, break. Yeah. You actually uh, of Dokapon? Did the friendship come? Uh, did the friendship come out well? You, 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 you. you. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh while I'm eating. <laughs> I still remember seeing fucking, uh. Wooly, Reggie, and Min play it, and when they were doing like the the prologue stream, I, I I'll call it. There was a moment where they landed, where uh Wooly and Reggie landed on the same space, and when Wooly uh chose the option to take his character hostage and ask for something, he said, "This isn't about in-game money." Like he was at least half jokingly holding Reggie's character fucking hostage for like twenty Canadian dollars or some shit. Oh my god. All right, we're zipping past this guy. Uh, is he sending us back in? Uh, no, he's just saying, hey, I'm gonna have to repair this to come back later. And I think we can't actually upgrade him. Go speak to Bubba. Let's see if we can do actually upgrades while we're here. Cause he has an icon. Oh, my wrist. Oh. Big tense today. Might've slept on it wrong. This is like, it's right here. It's not where we're, it's not in the carpal. It's just at the joint. Might also uh, happen if you like rest no on top, you like like you, like By if you're way, someone who puts it under your pillow, you that might happen if you have your head resting right on top of it. Yeah. 
Right, let's see if we can do Phoenix Spear, because that's that's the big one. Can you do me a favor? Uh, there should be a canteen by the boat. I need, some, I need some water real quick. We're actually going to do a quick BRB now to think about it. Actually, no, you have a canteen right here. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to do a quick BRB anyways. So, right. uh, be right back. Yeah.
Okay. We are back. I we stretched. Now that I have like buttons to prevent Boy. myself from uh forgetting that I have the BRB on, I now remember without even looking. That just means one of these days it's just a countdown until you accidentally disable and then re-enable it. Uh, yeah. Well, no, it, it's I just have to read the button. Like that I made sure that's not gonna happen. <laughs> We need giant eggs. We get those as rare world drops from giant uh, the village. Eggs. Giant eggs! But that's like one of the few spears we can't upgrade. God damn it. And we can... Oh no, it's full of cord is the one that we can uh, upgrade. More fluorite! But a cord isn't in this game. It's just mentioned as a cameo. More fluorite! Do we need fluorite for anything before I hit that button? I think the other labyrinth weapons. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's maxed out now. Let's see if we pick up an egg on the way back. To you know, we probably go get will. our bugging popola quota in. Because you have had surprisingly good luck with this game's otherwise bullshit RNG. Let's yeah. Be real. All right. Um, well, come back soon. Biddly, 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 biddly. Hold on, touch the touch touch the the mailbox. Why the fuck was I forgetting what it was called for a second? Touch the red thing. I'll just use this for a little bit. Just just to say you did. Just just to have it. Just, just to say that that was totally a worthwhile investment of our time and resources. I mean, we we haven't ab had an abundance of that shit to begin with. Time, yes. Resources, hmm. Yeah, it's big. Mm. Definitely tell that I'm using a, a different controller because I'm doing a lot of this on accident. Just those little course corrections. Course corrections from course corrections. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell we've got some fucking levels on these boys compared to uh, when we first fought them. Oh yeah, and with the mask maxed out weapon, it's just as much like a. Boop. Like, it is literally less about the fucking dichotomy of damage versus armor shredding and more just, what is your weapon of choice for pure unbridled genocide? And it just happens to be this! What the fuck was that? Stop it. Get some Stop help. it, get some help. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I was going before I even finished? Yep. God damn it. Discord bumping. Oh. Here's new scene number two. That's not good music. Hey, Assis. How goes the code breaking? Oh, it's not harder fun. than I expected. It's going to take some more time. More importantly, how is the child who drifted ashore getting along? Right on schedule so far. I mean, we knew she was powerful enough to destroy an entire ship. Now she's grown even stronger. There is one thing, though. She's started to obsess over becoming human. If that's a problem, we need to nip it in the bud. If the Shadow Lord resists the plan, we'll need her power to defeat him. I know, Popola. I know. Jeez, relax, will ya? It's a fool's dream. And we both know it. She doesn't have a receptacle, so she can't become human, no matter how badly she wants to. So they're making artificial shades now, too. No. They're talking about one specifically that we have seen. Who do we know that fits the description of a child washed ashore in a ship? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, she's not an artificial shade. Oh. I mean, technically, the process of creating shades means that there's some artificiality inherent to the... Hey, b b b b whatever. Pedantic. They're talking about Louise. They're talking about Louise. Yeah. Two children to throw over the balcony. 
No, you know why these are here? These are the children that uh, were had their abusive dad reported. They got separated from them, and now they just live in here. Oh. Throw them over the balcony. Make them take more damage. It'll help them level up their uh, their heavy armor and their restoration spell skill. Pretty much. Hey, Popola. Do you miss me shouting in the library? Because I can go outside and do it right now. You ready? I can do it. I can do it. Please don't. I can do it. Popola! I'll do it again, too. Hey, Popola. We, we just leave after this conversation and we just see fucking steam rising from her fucking ears and the little seam around her neck where her head screws on. Yeah. Oh, we can skip to this dialogue? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Cerberus means a dog, but I don't know what that's about. Just the moment the door closes, we hear faint tea kettle noises. Here. That's surprising. That's shockingly good, actually. <laughs> Just as, as, as we leave the library. The hell was that? <laughs> Devil just walks in, looks at her, pops her head open, and it's just a bunch of steamed rice. Pulls it out, pops her head back down. <laughs> just, <boom. laughs> oh yeah, my rice is done. All right, we're good. <laughs> just pulls out some fucking chopsticks. How you doing, sis? Still pissed? Uh huh. Yeah, that's great. And she's just like, all right, well, you have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> like, just bopping around the head as, as a head pat. You just hear. Oh, does that mean that when they when they fucking clap because they're androids, it just sounds like a bunch of metal slapping together then? Is that fucking uh, Barry, that Barry Kramer, how everybody claps and smash uh, video? Yeah. <laughs> or no, it's like that one like thorough bit about like, what does it sound like when Android 16 claps? Does it just sound like two pans bashing against each other? Or just... <laughs> You can't you can't, you can't tell me how to clap. I'll clap however I want to. <laughs> oh, for some reason I thought that was a bunch of Hello? boars in the distance. Oh god, that would have arguably been worse. Thankfully we just two shot these guys easy. The rolling's pissing me off. Yeah, because it's unblockable, so you can't really do anything about it. I thought that was a boar for a second. Yeah, that's literally what I said earlier. They look like boars in the distance because of how sheer black that armor is. I'm literally, there's literally no reason for me to kill these things. I'm just doing yeah, it. Yeah, there is. They're shades, and they're right in front of you. But they're people. Yeah, well, we don't know that because dramatic irony. Oh yeah, we never did pick up an egg in the village, did we? Oh. Nah, we'll pick it up on the way by. Yeah, we'll see if we can find one. Because we're gonna have to go back and forth a couple times, I believe. Forward and back, and going forward and back. Oh no! One of those little whispers sound like somebody going, God damn it. <laughs> I mean, it's in character for them. I, I wonder if if it's like uh, some other voice clips in some games out there, like the Choo Choo's in Wind Waker, where it's actual dialogue that's just been like pitch shifted and uh, played up. and like sped up and maybe like played backwards or some shit to affect the the idea that it's like a different uh, nonsense or something. It's like, of, it's like Yoshi. Instead of being, hoey, <laughs> it's hoey, ha. Ah. Yeah. Or, or like uh, the example I mentioned, that's uh, probably one of the most infamous bits of Zelda lore is that the sound that uh, Choo Choo's making Wind Waker is literally just 
a sped up argument between two Japanese people over who's balding first. <laughs> yup. So this is mostly the same, but there's one very minor I difference. I've never seen fog this thick before. The postman. Oh, what's that? This is Shay Child walks out. Hi, I'm here to introduce you to my favorite game, Sonic 06. I th I thought you were going to say the Shade Child walks out with the Shade Game Boy playing Shade Kirby. <laughs> playing inverse color Game Boy. <laughs> the screen is black and the pixels that have to turn on to uh, let light through. No, that's just night mode, Kurt, uh, night mode Game Boy. <laughs> probably, the, probably the incense that's burning right now. Eh, probably. I like the incense, so fuck it. Oh god, it's over. My life is over. Oh god, my wrist. What's wrong? I think I slept on it wrong. Hey, I remember you. you sure you don't want me to take over a little bit just so you can rest your wrist? No, I'm good. I mean, you say you're good and then you keep complaining about it, so it makes me worried. All right, shut up. <laughs> there. All right. He's got he's got control now, so I'm going to be full focus commentary. All right. That's no, stop. No, no, Oh, I'm gonna have to get used to this because this is fucking. I played this originally on a pro on a Switch Pro controller hooked up to my PC, so that's where all my muscle memory is. Uh, it's the same. It's the same uh, buttons. No, well, it's the same button layout, yeah, but it's also like the. You're not. Oh, you're not used to uh, analog triggers instead of digital. Yeah. Hey there. I'm yeah. Lusty barfly strikes a third time. I mean, does she really though? More like she struck out. I gotta go back on to go get Cupid. Find myself a good shade boy to love. Man, with a batting average like that, I wonder if your name's Casey. Oh ho! I wonder how many people even get that Hard reference these days. The Who even knows? Because I don't. Because I I know we we read that fucking thing in elementary school. I don't know if other people did. Hey, is someone there? Okay, I definitely heard someone cough just now. Maybe, but just the me the middle gear slide. Bling! Yeah, what was that noise? Tap 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 tap. There you Who's there? Worry. Hey, it's okay. You don't need to be scared. So like I said, subtle difference. You might not notice it immediately, so I'm not going to draw attention to it yet. Oh. What? Hopefully I haven't, should have been noticing it by now. I would be impressed if you did Think notice it. That couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. Next thing you know, you'll be telling me you enjoy your anger. No, Martha! I cannot stop! I'm starting to enjoy my anger! Just that one fucking comic book image that always gets shown when people just can't back down from a Twitter argument. Yeah. Yet again, continuing what seems to be the running theme of a lot of our talks here, that hey some people need to take a break from the internet for their mental health. And that's well, fine. Your cough seems better at least. Check it out. I brought you some bread today. Is she taller? No. You're probably thinking of the statuette in the trophy room after you beat her boss fight. Uh. It's not a visual difference, I'll say that. Oh, easy there. Jeez, you must have been starving. Well, look, no one's gonna take this from you, so just take it easy so you don't choke on it, okay? So, what were you doing on this boat, kid? Actually, scratch that. First things first. I can't just keep calling you kid. You got a name? She just looks over at him. Jugama, Jugama. Okay, no. We're gonna put a kibosh on that one. Nah, just no. <laughs> well, this is going to be a Johai, 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 Shadow Gun, Shadow Gun. 
about Louise? I mean, it just sort of popped into my head, but what do you think? Uh, my, th my name too is... <laughs> <laughs> Guess you're okay with it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Louise. I love how the whole thing just fucking ends with... Oh, God damn it, but my tongue. Oh. Throw my tongue! I thought it was from Inferno Cop, but apparently it's just an old fo uh, folklore joke. Yeah, it's an old folklore joke that got turned into a fork coma between Bradley and Scar and Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. And I think they actually did an adaptation of it for the uh, Brotherhood anime. Lots changed since. As like a little bit at, at like one of the ends of the episodes or like a stinger or something. Probably. Hope, I guess. If you asked me, that particular couple could bend. I think it's like, uh, something Clover 6 or some shit also did a little song on it. It's like a, it's like a pop super group or some shit. Yeah. That's like a bunch of voice actresses singing a bunch of specific songs and, uh, Teddy Lloyd doing a composition for an album. But, but yeah, it is specifically like an old, old fucking Japanese joke that's persisted through the years. Yeah. Hey, right, buddy, what's up? Is your brother here? No, you just missed him. He was over in the other town. The one I was just in? The one you were just in. Fuck. And that's the whole thing. Hey, you 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 showed up at Seaside. Oh, time for you to leave Seaside. Seafront. Whatever, Seafront. Six Flags. Sea left, sea back. Sea lab 2021. Here go my nipples again. They need to bring that back. Unfortunately, like, uh, two of the voice actors fucked off from William Street, so. Yeah, and I don't blame them because apparently, fucking. There was some. They were being shitty to certain people. Oh, uh, the, the voice actors? Yeah, uh, no, the William Street themselves. Okay, because that's what I. Because I was gonna say that's how I mostly heard it. That's what. That's why uh, MC Chris doesn't fucking hang out, uh, chill out with them anymore. He chill. He chills out with the voice actors, but not like the production crew anymore. Hmm. Honestly, don't blame him at this point. Yeah. Hey there, Louise. Say, where'd you get that red bag? I murdered a man. Oh, that's nice. Found it on the ship, did you? <laughs> you kids are so darn curious about everything. Anywho, it's good to see you. Afraid I don't have any bread. I think Louise set up the, the boat with like some, something. uh, or at least tried to set up the boat with some fucking like home alone traps. Probably. Considering how, considering how some of those Here, veer on like fucking ribbon. horror shit, I can imagine that she did. This is like a Joe Pesci corpse down below, below decks. Yep. Just like strung up in a bunch of Christmas light bulbs hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> They're all broken but stabbed into them. It it's just like the morbid version of it. Yeah. The fucking uh, edgy horror parody version of it. Yeah. Where, where the kid's like a genuine <laughs> well, fucking s serial killer. Nice, huh? Except it's not mean spirited and not done by some fucking huh. scary movie douchebag. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Adult Macaulay Culkin sitting That's in the back true. going, I'm responsible for all of this. <laughs> Just like, just like sitting, just like sitting in a hot shower, and all of his clothes, holding a bottle of Jim Beam, muttering "Merry Christmas," you filthy animals, to himself. Oh, I see. You know, I guess your eyes are pretty sensitive after spending all. Or better, better yet, he's just sitting there with like both him and Rich Evans is going. No. Just watching it all happen, going, no, not quite there yet. <laughs> It turns out they're, uh, I believe they're friends of, uh, friends of, cha of their, each other's channel. Really? Uh, fucking Macaulay Culkin and uh, the guys from Red, uh, Red Letter Media, yeah. That's interesting. He show he's shown up for a couple of them. Like, him and, uh, fucking Pattinson, I believe, were both, like, really surprising cameos, but turned out, turned out that they were, like, big fans of, uh, Mike and Jay's stuff. Really? That's... Oh, well, Mike, Jay, and, and Rich's stuff in particular but well, that's fun yeah i i honestly never knew that and then hey, the pandemic happened anyone, oh <laughs> right Cause, because, cause, we, because we can't have good things because we can't have personal responsibility either like we we had fucking uh pattinson on red letter media right before the pandemic <laughs> ah lovely 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 
Hey, Louise. I brought your food for today. What's wrong? Aren't you hungry? It just burps up a fucking femur. Huh. <laughs> You haven't been eating much lately. Herbs up a rib cage and starts okay? playing xylophone on it. No, 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 better. Spooky, scary skeletons. No, this is just well, then, full loop it. Burps it up, hits the gun. <laughs> and it just like smash cuts away. Seaside's uh, front, uh, seaside, our seafront theme plays again. Was there a town in something called Seaside? Because I'm wondering why you keep uh, doing that. There was a town called Seaside in the game. I don't know why I keep going to it. I don't remember what game it's from, but it keeps I, my brain keeps going right to it. I mean, I guess both names are kind of synonymous. Small child. You know, she used. I heard it. Of course. Oh, yeah, there's this old lady who lived in a lighthouse. She was real crotchety and kept ordering like uh bulk twenty she kept saying something about ordering twenty-seven packs of frosters, even though they only come in twenty-fours. But I guess she harassed the delivery men enough they would give her three for free yeah. in exchange for like uh for delivery uh inconveniences or whatever she would call it. But she was alright though. I always thought she was gonna outlive me, I'm that old battle axe. Really weird magic going on here, Anything new for this one? Nah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you're in you're control. I don't know why I'm asking. Yeah, so I'm, I would I'm be the one to know because this, this version is fresh in my mind. Yep. A lot fresher than in, in, in your mind than it is in mine. Well, also because I know all the new stuff. 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 A shipwreck, is it? Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized something. What's up? All is right in the world. What? That was Dark Whirlwind. Suppose we might as well yeah, what's wrong with Dark Whirlwind? No, nothing's wrong with Dark Whirlwind. I just mean that I made sure that it that it wasn't on there. There we go. Emil said he wanted to play Minecraft. I have no clue what that is. I've been told it's a block game, and I really want to play it now. <laughs> So Emil hasn't gone through his fucking uh, Minecraft kid phase. Well, again, the apocalypse happened in 2003. Uh, Minecraft wouldn't even have been in uh, like pre-alpha by then. No, I believe it wasn't uh, pre-alpha. No, it, that would have been in like uh, 2009 or something. Is it? So unless that development still happened while the fucking white chlorination syndrome was ongoing. This ship is in a state of wanton decay. Surely we can find a. Oh, inside? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, 2009. Yeah, I was right. Sure as shit. Sure as shit. You know what I imagine Emil would fucking love the shit out of, though? Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh, yeah, I'm just being like, I've been told that there's a game called Roller Coaster Tycoon. Like, he would to <laughs> like he would actually go through it all and he would do it legit. No cheats. Actually try to get all the happiness up to max. So... Meanwhile, Ka Kaine would do the fucking Joel thing where she removes the doors and just leaves people to starve to death. Yeah. Not Since I'm flying. Huh? Wait, is this blood? Is this Chris's blood? Is this blood? Oh, what's, what's Chris? What's that smell? It's a Snickers bar. Oh. What's inside the Snickers bar? It's blood! <laughs> I love that video. Oh, come on. It's like, when he says it's blood, everybody's just like, oh! <gasps> Sure, you're all you pay up. So, Emil. I wonder if even Eli knew how long that was gonna have stay in power for. This place is pretty. He cool. probably knows. That dude's no, a fucking anomaly. Any townsfolk hanging around here. I still remember that one Splatoon video he did. Uh, I don't recall the one with uh, the one af shortly after Pearl and Marina got revealed. Oh. Initially, uh, the 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 elder horror and the weird sexual tension one. No, the one where it's like Pearl is like a weird fucking Wait, pseudo spider that creature. Yeah, that's what I meant. I did that. Damn, news. Hmm? Weird. All right. What is this? It's a key. I am going to hold key. Anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. 
Yeah, clues that we already saw all of on the last playthrough, so no worries. Clues! Some neat lighting here, though. Oh, actually, I never took a close look. You look at the beams of light, you can actually see they, uh... Have dust filter? Yeah, they accounted yeah. for, du for like, dust particles here. That's that's yep, yep. a neat detail. I imagine they can It's probably extremely difficult to see on stream, but it's definitely there. Yeah, and I imagine it was probably difficult to bake in, too, especially for this... Even if it was only for this portion right here. Nah, it's literally just flat texture stuff. Yeah, uh, all right. You can even see it when, when the camera panned to the side. Oh, yeah, It shit. flattened out, like, completely. Wait. I mean, it's still clever because flat texture dust filter is still really good, but it's definitely probably a lot easier to do than actual reflections. Yeah. Did you see that? Where it's like either you have to do weird camera trickery or you have to literally have a fucking duplicate of the room on the other side of the quote unquote mirror. Which is my favorite, uh, which, which game did that? Was that Control? Where, like, if you look in a mirror, it was actually rendering the, the room twice? Uh, I know Silent Hill 2 did that, but it was a bit more clever about it. And, uh, there's another game that I, uh, saw recently that did a really good, uh, mirror render, but, like, it was a deliberate them using, uh, LOD to make the render. Ah. Uh. Wakey. Passive white seem to be any shades around at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. What's that vice? Waste more time reading up on uh weird logs about how someone uh, wrote about how they were itchy and their friend was tasty? Don't mind if I do. My friend itchy and or tasty. <laughs> the spin-off the two the twenty twenty one spin-off to itchy and scratchy they tried to do. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that does actually sound like the, uh, something they would do for a title, if they ever did that bit. But then that's implying that Modern Simpsons can be funny more often than uh, once in a blue I'm moon. I say, it, it can. They, they have up and, ups and downs that uh, happen pretty frequently. Mostly downs. That sound Mostly downs. Weird. It's gotten better. The, older moment. the ratio went from like 75% down to... Uh, 50% down, so that's us quite far, every once in a while. It's a, it's a genuinely a every once in a while per season. The light it gives off makes me feel safe somehow was this well, one open yeah okay the romantic the kitchen is it a kitchen is it yeah we just oh, left it that. get with the program wise fuck what are you gonna have kitchen nightmares about it can't be mad about all this shit being raw how long is this place Faye, this for? food is frozen y yeah they it's it, it's a trade vessel what are you doing that's what I'm doing. See, solid here. Perfectly fine here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Speak to me, lad. You know what's really lost? fucking funny? You can still see the sword. Wait, can you? It turned a little bit. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. It's that? right there. Boop. Oh, I just barely see it. I had to lean in. Yeah. There we go. Boys, that's it. About time. Just gotta turn it on. Oh my God! Look at them. They are all. I can't believe they spilled all this bolognese sauce. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, if he just goes, "Oh my God!" and he says, "That's horrifying." There's a lot of ketchup here. And Weiss is like, "What?" Are, are you serious? <laughs> That's... No better yet. F fucking one of the cat saying spaghetti. And there's a lot of spaghetti sauce. Now let's see if you notice. Why did things turn up like oh, it's a lot clearer. They put the filter in back instead of in front. So now you can actually hear the voice acting for Louise. Nice. I 
something tells me that she was put on this boat because this boat was actually getting too far away for uh, Popola and Devola to uh, handle. It's not really clearly stated one way or the other, even in the short story version of this, I believe, and I don't think it's a question that deserves to be answered anyway. Yeah, no, it's, it's best left unanswered. It's just for whatever reason she was on this boat. Oh, man, that smell is getting right. God, did you know that when you die, sunshine, you, you completely just shit your pants just all over the place? Just comes roaring right out like a fucking Yellowstone guy. Wait, you don't know what Yellowstone is, do you? Tyran just sitting there going, Hey, why do they call it an oven when you oven the cold food and of out the hot food? <laughs> and it like kind of just goes, What? <laughs> I love that. Like, you're not the only one that uh, that I. Uh, you're not the only person that's been doing that joke, and I. It, it's been driving me nuts. <laughs> uh, Jax Films has also been getting a, a occasional yeah. run of that, and, oh, he, and he's, he's also just as done with it as I am. Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Oh. Hey, it's you. Wait. Oh, I, I'm. Hey, oh, uh, 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 hey, oh, so this is kind of awkward, but the girl is, you know, bleeding. I brought a bunch of leg? bandages with me, but. Uh, I mean, she's gonna be bleeding a lot more when I'm done with her. What she? Well, what are you talking about? Exactly oh. Deal with a woman's time of the month. <laughs> it's still the so, worst sorry, that it's directed at Kaine. Clearly crossed a line there. Forget I said anything. What if I told you that it's actually court blood? Stay the hell away from her. She isn't. Oh, that is definitely a lot more forefront. All right. We'll hop through this window. Kind of turns. Ooh, a treasure chest. <laughs> God damn it. What if, it, it oh, I'm going to turn it into the Merchant's Guild. Emil's like, wrong game. Oh. <laughs> hey, at least we didn't run into that weird guy with an iPad. Also wrong game, Emil. Oh, but I like that one. Just wait a couple more weeks. They'll put the pixel remaster on Steam. Someone off in the distance. Min! Of the wrong game again. <laughs> <laughs> At least the last two were also still games by our, by our same uh, team. I mean, technically, some of those Enix years people worked on this. I just mean Square Enix. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's it. Just... Just... Again, it's like I know it's the same button layout, but my brain is still telling me it is a new controller to get used to. I can plug in. The, I can plug in a switch controller. No, 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 I'll get used okay. to it. No shape. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. Like that's a reason why I use very specific controllers. And the opportunity has passed. I mean, we're not on Earth. We're in the sea, Vice. We're technically offshore. That means that uh, current laws don't apply about uh, drinking. So we could just completely skip bypass prohibition rules this way. Which is actually how people did that in real life, fun back. Yeah. It's a Simpsons joke on that as well. We're in international waters. We can now get drunk whenever the fuck we feel like it. You have Dark Lance set, right? Yeah, Dark okay. Lance and Dark Blast. Okay. Those, those are, this fight feels made for those ones. Yeah. That is not precisely the case it most certainly Boop. is being burned by the sunlight however its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict it's light something is coming get out of the way at once Alicia, <laughs> it's singing this thing actually thinks it's a person <laughs> god he's still fucking <laughs> There's the new shit. Yep. Yeah. I don't know where the singing lessons came 
from, but I do know it sure as hell trying to eat us. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but like as as slime slime bully as Tyran is, he sounds like he's having the time fuck. of his fucking life, and I kind of love it. Yeah, like he's yucking it the fuck up right now. Just entirely yucking it up. Like he's yucking it up so hard, even fucking uh, FK from Deadly Premonition is like, "Yo, run it back, man." Yo, you need to chill. <laughs> Nice. There we go. I would have just rolled into this shit and just walked up to him. Because we're, our magic damage is so high as it is. And then again, these tentacles are taking not a lot of damage. I think it's because of the fucking, uh... You're doing it for him? How's that? Oh. Because there's still dialogue going. Yeah. There we go. Now they're going faster. Now they're just... Getting... Now they're just melting. They're get, they're getting their full melt points going. Yep. She opens her mouth, gets ready to sing. Number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite. We're about to get down. Get down. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, she's of the age bracket that she would do that. Let's be real here. Just, just the, the music turns into chug jug as she's doing the uh, DPS track. <laughs> God damn it. There we go. I still have the little extra flourish they put on this because it's like the new shit. Yeah, because they, they have it in the engine now. Boop. Huh, I thought the scream would have been different where it sounded more like her just like absolutely shrieking in terror, but no. No, she's just like, ow! The answer is no. My regeneration factor, Ethan, it's much higher than yours. <laughs> as long as the nucleus remains intact. Wait, but I thought if, if we destroyed your head, shut up, though. Oh, hell. That thing's huge. Like, it's still the wildest thing in general in this game that so many of these fights are just two people having two completely different uh, conversations with each other. Yep. To think it could recover from such a grievous wound. Ordinary oh, you're doing the... Dark Blast Volleys, yeah. Yeah. Because they have tracking. Yeah, they'll actually make it across. You get it Surprised you're not using Iron Will for this. Well, but it has too much wind-up, so I guess that would make sense. I like how even Tyran's leaning into it. We need to get up there. Are you serious? Um, but how are we supposed to do that? Instead of wasting time running your mouths, how about you keep attacking the damn thing until it falls over? This is literally just them spelling it out for you, finally. You gotta aim for the head! You gotta aim for the head, Faye! HP. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're actually using a recovery? Yeah, why not? We have 10. Yeah, yeah, no, it's valid. We're going to get more. We're, I'll probably grind more up after stream. Yeah, we can get more from a uh, recycled vessel. Hey, the guy from before has collapsed on the beach. That shade's got some kind of hard on for him. We should take him hostage. Shut your yeah. I love how he I'm says that in a tone like that's his go-to suggestion on. for everything. Like, even if you're out of fucking milk, he suggests taking someone hostage and just pinning them down to rob their fucking fridge. You could probably, uh... Lock on to those. Whoa. Uh, I figured you'd be doing a full, uh, full charge on that. I am now. Uh, that's... You were just shy a little bit, but... There we go. All right. 
We get the extra dialogue for this. Alternate phase two. Oh, it's just a whole on different phase. Yup. Now we are actually fighting the actual part of her that is Louise. Oh. Attack the part of her that looks like a girl. This is actually really cool. Get that Shadow of the Colossus shit going. Yeah, boy. Even better. Wait till you see what it's actually formatted as. Ah, uh, fuck. This isn't where to go. Is this timed or is this? I don't know if it is, but I think I've outrun it anyway. Oh, look yeah. At, look at this bullshit. This is fucking. Hey, now, if you really wanted to use Dirt Gluttony, you could. No. But. You're gonna just like you said. I'm doing this for spite. Yeah, no. And also the the black bullets are layered in such a way that it's actually a bit uh, better yeah, anyway. It, it would absorb, and then the black bullets would stop the beam. There we go. I was say, the other spikes gonna go limp? Kinda says something about her whole deal that the only thing Kaine had to say for that last line after hearing her dialogue was just shit. Like she figured it out right then and there. That is just a totally different outro there. There's more. Thanks. You really saved our bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade, but I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire Ooh. time. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, postman. Not yourself. So he still figured out that the shade was Louise. I... He knew, he just didn't want to know. Answer. Believe it. All right, well, we'd better get going. There's someone else we need to break this news to. Fair enough. All right, so you're gonna prove me to be the horrible person for picking the section, se second option? I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even joke about that. But I am gonna pick the first option anyway because it feels yeah. like the most correct anyway. Yeah. Say something already. Something else that actually makes this a bit harder. I actually found out that uh, the voice actor for the Red Bagman uh, was known as Brad Venable, I believe. He passed away a few months before this game even came out. Oh fuck. Yeah. I don't know what it was for, but apparently he was well known and well loved by a lot of voice actors, and they were very sad to see him go. Damn. Your husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. We tracked him down, but it was already too late. And no. for the for the record, I picked the second true. option just to see what it would be. Yeah, because not to be I, spiteful. I, and I specifically mentioned I had never picked it, so I didn't know what she said because it just felt right to tell her the truth in this yeah. situation. Thinking about me all the time. Oh God, this can't be happening. <laughs> it saddens this old tome to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. If only I'd gotten to him sooner. Damn it. Do not let it burden you so loud. You did the best you were able. Can't save everyone, but mm -hmm. there's still one more thing that we need to see that'll 
fully bring every this little facet circle? up. Yeah, that'll fully bring every little facet of the Little Mermaid to a close here. As we leave town... Remember this scene? Yep. Oh, the... The letter. Because remember, Louise seemed to be writing something the in the this, ship. Mm -hmm. A letter. That thing wrote it for the postman. Ha! Man, that is some grade A chicken scratch! She probably copied the letters as best she could. So, what's it say? Oh, we're actually gonna... It's like I was stuck. Some kind of dream. Hey, letter guy. You're that. Um, I mean, how can I help you? Got a letter for you. Wait, you have a letter for me? Yeah, it's from that thing on the ship. Louise? Let me see. Oh, it says thank you. <laughs> wow. Look at this. After all that time I spent trying to teach her to write, she actually managed to string together a few ugly little letters. Damn it. Why can't I stop seeing her smile or hearing that song she used to sing? I know she ate people. I know she was a monster. Damn. Even after all that, he couldn't bring himself to truly hate her. Yep. Also, the achievement that uh, just popped is called gratitude. Yep. The song, the unique song that plays for these scenes, by the way, is titled in the soundtrack as "Fleeting Words." The upper tempo dramatic version that plays for the boss fight is called "Outsider." The version that's playing presently, as well as during the flashback sequences of the Postman first meeting Louise, is called Fleeting Words Family. God damn. We're gonna get a we're, we're gonna get a stinger from fucking the two robots. Uh Popo and Devilo? I don't think we're going to get any extra for them. Okay. Figured there'd be a, a little stinger from them as well. Them being like, oh, fuck, that wasn't supposed to happen. I mean, we already got a follow-up on that, and it was in Automata anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Is there a giant egg? No, it's not. It's just it's a bunch of berries. Fuck. Hey. Hey, no. Get back here. Give me egg. Give egg. <laughs> have, have a cuckoo moment. Give egg. They all turn. You get the... And just going ape shit on you. Place the place the fucking super boss theme from Automata suddenly. Yeah. Give it. No way. You must call the Ultra Mega Chicken. It is stuff of legend. No, you just need to call Wesker. You will give me an egg. You will give me an egg. Open the mouse out of the way. It's so it's it it's just so fucking fascinating for me to remember that. One of the fucking most quoted memes that I can think of that's lasted this long came from just haha funny Resident Evil voice clip. Like I know that's generally how a lot of memes start. It's just yeah, ha funny. Say, just... just funny observation gets taken and put through a bunch of fucking blenders and filters, but Perhaps this egg in this trying time. <laughs> oh, you can roll up and down the stairs. Yeah. I think I've done it before. 
What game is it again where you try to roll down the stairs, you just eat shit? Uh, Zelda is uh, does that where you roll, you try to roll upstairs, and the game immediately just goes, boom. Yeah, like you. yeah, it just like puts you in a trip state or something. Yeah. You've had quite the rough trip. That pipes. Oh, oh, one last thing. That's what I got to say to you. What flavor you got in there this time, Popola? Black cherry. Yeah, that's what I thought. What flavor you got in there, Popola? Alcohol. Melting pot. How long have we been going for presently, anyway? Uh, we're at the 4.15 mark. Uh, 15 or 50? 4 hour and 15. Okay, so we got a little bit. We can just, like, uh, breeze right through facade while we're here, then. Yeah, just knock that out real quick. Get, get us at least to a point where we can... I want to uh, say of all the things the to do off... At, at the very least, you should probably do the Forest of Myth off stream because, again, literally nothing changes for that one. Yeah, I'll do that It's one clear they there. wanted to do more in the original version, but alas. If if I don't do it off stream, I'll probably do it, do it during pre-stream because that'll be a quick kill pre-stream. I'm gonna go check on something real quick because I want to test this out now that you've been talking about it so much. Oh, the clump? The the fishing for clumps. I'm gonna test this out. Yeah, because both lures and sardines will do it. They're relatively the equal uh, equal odds. All right, so that was a one and done. Fish got away. And unfortunately, this thing does not have rumble, so that does legitimately make that harder. Yeah, yeah. One and done again? Nope. It's also a little harder to see because I'm sitting slightly away into the right of the monitor, so I can't see when it does bob. Better? Uh, a little bit, actually, yeah. A little more? Uh, I, could it, I could watch the preview if you need a little more. Keep it there just to see. Well, I, again, I got, a, I got a preview screen right here, so if you need me to bump it over. Uh, here. all right, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, I, sure, I got, sure. if, if it's anything I need to see more clearly, I, I have the preview screen on our monitor. Yeah, actually timing this out is kind yeah, of... Yeah, it's not, it's not easy. Because you don't have a rumble, which makes it even harder, because you're not using a, a rumble controller. Well, I Steam doesn't have rumble set up. I, I had a rumble when I was using the Pro Controller, because that's well, got you rumble in that, it. Uh, you got, that does, but it doesn't have the wireless version set up. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because ha mine also has the cable running into the PC, which probably helps then. I could, I could set it up to be cable, but here. That's right. here. Yeah, your wrists are probably feeling... Hopefully, they're feeling a little better. Well, no, but... Oh. Yeah, see, that's the legendary fish that's doing it. God, your hands are sweaty. I mean, like five seconds. I wipe yeah. the controller down because you sweat. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so moist. No, you fucking woolly hold this controller, man. Mr. Bucket. Here. Take, take over for the rest of the stream. All right. Because like my wrist is not having it today, having me today. Yeah, no, that's why I was insisting on it. Because I was like, you keep saying your wrists hurt, so I don't want to hear you say no, it's fine. Alright. Anyway, uh. I'm Sorry. Yep. Thought my nose was gonna act up on me there. Anyway, uh. If there is a way to test that out better, it would probably be with a rumble controller, but for now, it seems like, yeah, that's kind of a wash doing it with, especially with this one. Yeah, I, I, again, I'm so sure, uh, I would have to plug it in, uh, normally. Or, ju or just do fucking recycled vessel for those clumps. 
Yeah, well, we, we got the weapon that we need to, uh, for the rest of clumps. I don't think anything else needs it anyways. I think maybe one or two, but... Like... What? Oh, yeah, no. If you have the DLC automata weapons, those take rusted clumps because it's meant to be one-to-one -one their upgrade materials from the original game. Uh... Yeah, we're just... I thought we had all the weapons. Uh, those are DLC. They're free DLC, I think. Uh, so they don't count towards completion. Free DLC that we don't even have downloaded. You'd think that they detect save data on your Steam account and just do it that way, but... Alas. PC games can't be like console games in that aspect, it seems. Yeah, because apparently we're still living the myth that PC game is the way of the future. I mean, I'm, I'm totally not coming from the from the perspective of someone who's bitter because after hearing so much about mods, I realize actually making them work is a goddamn nightmare for someone well, like me. So here's the thing. Uh, this is the yeah. So you just hit start twice there. Uh, here's the thing. It's not so much that uh, they can't develop it. They can. It's just they know uh, certain companies like toy uh, toy box studio that developed this. Uh, the studio that developed this, that's Toy Logic. Toy Logic, sorry, Toy Logic. They, they just worked on, and they didn't even really, I don't know if I developed is the correct they, word technically they because they, 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 they just helped with like asset creation, I yeah, think. Yeah, they co-developed. But uh, to, toy, uh, toy Logic and a couple other studio uh, studios that worked on this were probably distinctly aware that anytime a video game checks for a specific file, somebody's gonna be on some fucking for some fucking post on Reddit saying that X and Y game invades your privacy. Well, we can certainly guess what they've been eating. So it's just kind of like one of the biggest reasons why games don't check for save files anymore is because of that. Huh? Because people get skittish, and anytime something looks for something or looks for a specific file on the computer, no matter what it is, someone's gonna be like, well, I don't want them looking through my documents folder. I don't want them seeing that I have a folder full of nothing but ducks and uh, baseball caps. I don't want them to see my illegal risky objects inside of a folder. Turns out it's nothing but slightly incorrect Rubik's cubes. Rubik's cubes with the, with with one single piece moved into the wrong spot, so it's impossible to solve. Apparently, it, it is actually pop. Oh my fucking god! What? I don't know why, but for some reason, when I was about to finish that sentence, the first word that came to my mind was fucking. Yeah, it is possible to soft locked a Rubik's cube. I fucking hate myself for that. I'm just gonna. No, 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 no. You got to exploit the Ru the Rubik's Cube on the Z-axis and I then cause it to clip over and you solve the whole thing at record time. <laughs> Just got to make sure the stickers don't fall off when you do it, though. I've never heard of the stickers actually falling off. I think they were pretty well adhered. No, uh, they used to not be. Now I do believe they just uh, conformal coat that shit onto the... Oh, they just like paint the blocks instead of stickers. Yeah, they used to have uh, plastic inserts way back in the day. Huh. Like when I got my first Rubik's Cube, Rubik's Cube it was a plastic insert cube. Ah, and uh, after a while, they started doing stickers and then too many complaints about people being petty little shits and rearranging the stickers in a way that makes it impossible to complete. Yeah. Like physically impossible to complete. And uh, like then they started doing like a uh, splatter coating. Mm. I believe it's what it's called, where it's just like a, a thicker layer of plastic paint just over the square and shit. Yeah, I can I can believe. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't do that sooner. To be fair, because even when I was a kid, I was still. It's more expensive. Uh, yeah, that would probably yeah. explain it. Like, you're, you're, if you're wanting to like have a fucking Rubik's cube, you just like it's better to just not bother. It's a thing. What's it? Kind of what? I don't like. You were sure this city since. Yeah. Will you? Carpet, Tip carpet, carpet. Who the tulips? Well, they really don't have carpet where I come from. Hey, Amelia, 
You're still looking at boys again? No. I'm you know what they do have where I come from? Non-Euclidean stairs. And Mio's just like, Faye, that's that's not cool. You're supposed to respect that. I mean, I do, but... Yeah. Faye, Faye, no. Faye, stop. Uh. <laughs> It's like everybody, if Faye turns into, like, has his little e e edgy teenager phase. I mean, he kind of is right now. <laughs> no, he's having that edgy adult phase where he thinks that Zack Snyder movies are worth defending on Twitter. Release the Snyder Cut, but there's no Snyder Cut. Release the Snyder Cut. I don't know what I'm more upset by, the fact that they actually caved into that or the fact that it's actually... Mar decent as far as I've heard. I was about to say, no, it's actually marginally better. I have heard it. I have not heard people say it is great. I have heard them say, yeah, it, it was fine. That's the most I've heard them say. It was, it didn't what feel like a waste of time, well, which is well, more so, than I can say for a lot of other Snyder happy? works, but. It's so fun fact. I'm kind of jealous. Oh, you want to know what they actually changed? Me? What? They made, they lightened the filter over the recordings put in scenes that didn't do a whole lot to begin with and uh re-recorded like two scenes that were already poorly shot to begin with really yeah that's all this that's all the snyder cut was and uh it's now turning into yeah we're just gonna uh release a bad version of a film and uh wait for people to demand x x and y director cut and then double the profits off of this movie by just releasing the, uh, a actual complete cut that wasn't deliberately fucked up. So the EA model. Yeah, we, we, we literally had no, uh, the movie We are industry. now living in an era of movie and movie definitive edition. We're, yes, no, we are moving, we're now moving into remasters happening within the, within a year of them coming out. Fucking. Remember when that fucking happened? Ah. Uh, hey, didn't allow that. Hey, we're releasing The Last of Us Remastered, but didn't that come out last year? Remastered. I mean, to their credit, that was basically just the PS4 uh, port, so if I remember correctly, so there's that. And, and also, it was actually a legitimately better version because the first game played like ass. It's still, like, they couldn't have just called it Remastered. They could have called it Definitive Edition. Uh, what you feeling we should do? Because it feels kind of weird to not- oh, that's just do facade. Uh, yeah, it feels kind of weird to like leave and come back after all that, to be just, fair. Just let the blood sit on the floor for a while. Just like let it, just let it marinate into the stone. It's fine. And, and all, all the facade members are staring at the blood going, man, that's going to be really hard to scrub out. <laughs> like right. the whole, you come back, it's still there and everyone's just standing around looking at it. And they're like, no, we don't have a rule to do this. The fuck okay. do you mean they don't have a role to do this? You no, think the people of Facade wouldn't have invented fucking weird post-apocalyptic club let, soda? Let, <laughs> <laughs> let me finish. It's like, we, uh, we don't have a rule to fi finish it. What? Why do you need a rule to just wipe that up? Uh, it... We don't have a rule for that. <laughs> It, it just turns into the fucking excuse you give when you're working at Walmart or something where it's like, yeah, I don't know if we have it. I'll just check in the back and then never follow up with them. Just check in the back, still standing there for 10 minutes. Nope, we got nothing. <laughs> just pretend you're a Bethesda NPC and just stare at a wall doing nothing. <laughs> Steps on the blood, uh, they, they fall over. Just spring up, need something. <laughs> and then launch into the air. We still need to set up the VR stuff, but they're like the amount of crap. I, I'm, I, I know in the past I've said we're gonna do like VR streams at some point, but the amount of bullshit that we have to do to get set up here, it's like really, really fucking not worth it. Yeah. I, I, like I'm looking for ways to make it worth it, but the amount of like setup and the rearrangement shit that has to go on makes it, uh, do you need to suggest it still? Or you, uh, you a little to the left, a little to the left. Like this way? Uh, no, I mean like back. Back to life. There we go. But, uh, yeah. Setting up for VR is a pain in the ass. Is it, it, the short of it is. Yeah. Like, I want to do it. It's just, like, there's a number of things that I have to do to pre-stage it, and I don't know how I'm going to get, like, a good mic that hangs around the, the headset to do it. Like, I might have to fork out for a mod mic to do it. Oh, 
Oh, no. I thought down was short. There we go. It's gonna beat him with the pipe. I don't know why that switched to the pipe, but you know what? Fuck it. I'll it's, run with it. It's whatever was set last. I'll, I'll fuck with the pipe, sure. I'll take, in I'll take in the streets, your nature! Actually, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll run with that. Yeah? I'll run all the way to the fucking bank with that. Sort of funny though. I remember this pipe. I remember the pipe actually being way better in the original than it is. It here. was. They nerfed the strike range. Uh, not only the range, but I think it had like a specific property with its charge attack that made it really good. I'm pretty sure it's still decent DPS because it counts as like a lighter one-handed sword. But it's one even of the lightest. Then, uh, no, actually, I think Moonrise oh, is the lightest. Is I think this is like the second or third lightest. I just know it's like stupid. Woo! I have never seen that from afar. That was wild. Yeah, no. Rock Homie just fucking cannonballs in that bitch. Rock's got some moves to him. He's a very good boy with a lot of good tricks. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but he's a third. But he's like a 14th century old dog, and he's learned many tricks. Rock's over there is like, you say I can't learn any new tricks? Hold on, let me show you this shit. And then he proceeds to do a fucking kickflip, and everyone freaks out. He just everybody stops goes what's he about to do he, he just like stands up on his hind legs by the way we got the speed run rock achievement nice stands up on his hind, hind legs reaches back pulls pulls out a shade uh, a shade corrupted skateboard sets it on the ground puts all four paws on it and just pushes forward with one paw and everyone goes oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no 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 before even better before he does that he pulls out one of those fucking aggressively 90s baseball caps with like the little uh, pastel triangles on it and puts on some shades and then does it. Does it? You just hear in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Hawk's uh, special trick fucking sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, off to two brothers then. Because again, I feel like we can easily do force the men off camera. Yeah, and it'll be done off camera. Hold it. Hold it. Fee made a new friend, and guess what? He's a king! Just smash cut to fucking, uh, King Sex, because I think that is his name is, uh, Sex. Just S -E -C -S, yeah. yeah, the the German number. Standing uh, standing over the gravestone, and he's just the fucking, uh, Wojak or whatever it's called, that the dude whose face is just completely blacked out. You know, it's like, before the whole thing, and he's like, Fee made a new friend, is he, and he's a king! Hard cut to both of them. All right, all right, you, 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 you on, on three, we'll start, all right, ready? She can go lower than ever, though she can start doing that fucking video dance. <laughs> I mean, you saw them dancing during that wedding recital. The people of Facade got some fucking rhythm. Oh, yeah, no. Meanwhile, Faye here probably dances like fucking Commander Shepard. Just that incredibly white boy dance. Yeah, that one dance that they that they made fun of in Citadel, where despite the fact that so many other characters use it, it's like, wow, Shepard, you dance like a white person. Just the whitest white boy dance that ever whited. And he's just bringing his feet up a couple of inches and putting them back down in rhythm. It's okay. Just Babby's first dance. Don't worry. Occasionally he'll move his arms in a very particular motion. Also, that NPC is still not here. That's fucking weird. Does he only show up if you do all the side quests or it something? It might be. So I'm going to explain what it is. Actually, is uh, on one of my concurrent playthroughs, I came over here, and I remember it might have been after I cleared like all the side quests in the game, it, finally. It, it might have been. So that might be tied to it. But there was a guardsman NPC here who was going on a rant about how apparently a bunch of sheep rammed his wife to death and he wanted revenge. So he tasks you to get in part of a mini game where you ride a boar and try to kill as many sheep as possible within the time limit and he gives you money for it. I wonder if that's an ending C thing, like post ending C. No, because I got it after ending A or B. So that's oh. why I think it might be tied to side quest completion. It might be. And the, and the fucking funniest thing is, uh, first of all, I recognize that it was Robbie Damon, AKA your boy Shao doing that voice and the man is just completely off his shits and wants a genocidal rampage against the sheep. Like, he wants to turn and give New Zealand back to the people. I was going to say Wales, but that works too. Wales has a lot of sheep. Doesn't it? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Like, my brain was like, wait, does it? 
and and he's totally like he's basically the same thing as fucking Gideon and his robe and his robo murder boner. Fuck, that's a mouthful. Robo murder boner. That that came out wrong. Robo motor hope. Robo murder hobo. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. Oh! Almost had it. If you say toy boat three times fast, you'll turn into a mumble rapper. Toy boat. I, I got nothing to say to that. Aside from the fact that I'm not the person to make any commentary in any meaningful capacity on like rap of any kind. Nah, just it's whatever. Like again, people will sit there and be like, well, it's not music, but like, shut the fuck up. It, it's music. It's just not for you. Uh, well, what a fucking. Oh my god! Look at her titanium alloy. Uh, what's it at? Twenty three. Oh. Yeah. How many do we need for that quest? Like 10? ten. We needed ten. Well, we got it. <laughs> we sure did. Oh wait, fuck me. We didn't I... check the mail. That I thought that if you came straight to him, you could just like skip ahead, but no, you have to do it in order. Mm-hmm. Hey, that red X though. <laughs> I was gonna do a whole thing of lifting it up and dropping it on my lap, but I'm afraid that it would actually cause it to fall to the floor. This is a very nice controller, so I'm just gonna set it on my lap and just pretend that I dropped it. I mean, it's an okay controller. It's old. You the worst the worst that would happen is you knock the battery out of it. I mean, that would still be inconvenient. And shit, I don't want to do that. Yeah, it would definitely cause the game to go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and we've already had enough technical issues at this point. This is the yeah, this has been one of the cleanest streams we've had in a long time. I mean, every streamer gets to have at least one. And then it goes immediately back to technical difficulties an hour or two into stream. Well, technically we had a technical difficulty. It was the game tabbing out for whatever reason, but I know it's causing that. And uh I will absolutely be addressing that after stream today. After I address a phone call, I'm probably gonna have to make and, and figure out what Ow! the hell that is. Just got fucking tatsumaki off the board, you little yeah, shit. Yeah, just like whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you go abuse that for some iframes against the great Joggy or something? Yeah. I can't believe that next one made that joke, and I don't even play most of I mean, well, you also put it in my head because you showed me the fucking uh, yeah, Akuma like, layered armor. Uh, Akuma layered armor and emotes. Not just layered armor, emotes. The weird A whole fucking set of them. <laughs> and unfortunately, most of them don't actually do any damage against them. No, they do damage. Person. Uh, it's the same thing as uh shadow boxing. You you do damage against the monster. There's there's an actual uh obtainable food skill that lets you do weapon damage uh based or weapon like whatever your weapon equipped. The, it does, the emote does that damage to the monster. Okay. Yeah, like that's a whole thing. Hey, old lady, you still having a fucking conniption about the dead children? Yeah, that's nice. I, I believe Monster Hunter World has an achievement for killing a monster with a shadow box emote. Hmm. Oh, it used to be uh, yeah. if you do the kick emote in the classic oh, ones, you would unlock a wow. secret armor or some shit. I need one memory alloy. Titanium All right, alloy. he needs a memory alloy. We, we'll probably think, catch. I, I, no, we have it. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Look, check, check, check. I I just talked to him, so clearly we don't. It automatically turns in if you have all of them. I need yeah. A... Oh. So either we don't have the memory alloy, or we don't have the broken motors. Check. Some. Uh, what? Yeah, we need the memory alloy. Oh, we have we have an abundance of everything else but the memory alloy, it seems. Yeah, because the one that we got earlier was used for story progression, remember? Oh, yeah. Because I because that's probably what you're thinking of. That's probably is what I'm thinking of. You gotta have like a lie down or something. Give your wrists some rest if they're still bothering you like this. Hold up. Hold up. One moment. Hi.
Yes. I know there's no point to murdering these shades, but there's no point to anything we do. So why should I bother not ignoring? Sh shadow step them. Nothing personnel, kid. I mean, you literally have a shadow step. If, if you dodge after an attack, you shadow step behind them. Oh, I know. But I'm at a level where I can just tank their hits anyway. Well, I know, but it's still fun to shadow step enemies. Like, then, like shadow step them and do nothing. Just imagine the panic they have where they're just like, oh! Man, I wish more games had like a good panic system in them for like scaring the shit out of enemies if you do stealth stuff like uh, fucking no more heroes does. I, I was gonna say like the the Batman Arkham games, well the the better ones specifically. Oh, that's gonna. Where it's like you have those moments where even when the fucking mooks have assault rifles that can just end you in two seconds if you play your cards properly, they just increasingly shit their pants to the point that they will actually waste their ammo trying to fire on a boiler venting steam and they'll actually empty their fucking clip when you d when you go down to uh, clown on them i was thinking fucking no more heroes where you uh go into berserk mode and you do the attacks and it's done like has puts them in a panic stun for an extended period of time i wonder if they're gonna bring that back in some capacity for yes. three yes it's already confirmed oh <laughs> is it gonna be a weird roulette wheel again i don't know but it's already confirmed that it's brought that it's in there okay Three's gonna be like a, a, a probably on par with how they progress with Saints Row, where it just got gets progressively more ridiculous. I mean, they're already at a point where you're literally facing like aliens, and apparently Travis has a fucking Tokusatsu like spaceman outfit. The uh, the T suit, I believe it's called. Yeah, something like that. And like the best hoodie that has upset so many Twitter Twitter chuds. Yeah. The fuck racism hoodie, which is the best. Man, I can't believe the guy who's best friends with a black family and uh, respects Mexican wrestling and had a teacher who was Japanese would actually be opposed to racism. Right. Imagine that. Just imagine that. Right. Into the junk heap we go to murder another child. All the internet chats can go back to uh, saying that uh, that Joker is the only uncorrupted uh, hero in the the entire world. You know, I can't even say that like straight because it's so fucking ridiculous. It is. The same motherfuckers that says when a nice guy snaps, the devil shudders. <laughs> The only reason I know that exists is, is once again due to Jack's films, who who made fun of that shit. Uh, pulls a cord a shot. Yeah, we haven't used that like at all. Just to see how it looks, because I think it is more a little bit more attack power. Look at this fucking quake ass fucking spear. Look at this thing that looks like it opens up to fire a giant green energy ball. Right. Like, like you bust this bitch out and fucking rise of the triad. Or 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 like it's a fucking uh. Deep Sea Trident in fucking uh, Sea of Thieves. Oh, yeah. You can just hold it. <laughs> when they release new content, we'll probably be going back to that, by the way. But 14 is going to be the community thing for a while. Apparently, they're releasing a Borderlands themed ship. How it's you already, feel about it's that? A, it's already out, and I'm just kind of like, K. Okay. No, no, thanks, Rando, Rando Picho. How about you go back to medieval times where you can leave another USB on the fucking table? Ran Randy Magic Pornography Pitchford. Like, no mere machine can hope to prevail against our intelligence. It, it, I, I would not give Randy wow. nearly as much cool. shit so much if he now. didn't try to pass it off as I want to see the magic trick. Like, it, it he had he had porn on the USB stick. It's people would judge the people judge you a lot less if you're just like yeah i had some whatever me. like that's 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 the genuine sentiment is like you're you would be judged significantly i less don't if know you why but it's it. making my brain go places where i see all those things we can't pick up and i realize oh we could have sold those for money <laughs> for, for the for the abundant amount of money that we have that's literally going to do nothing right now yeah it is it's going to help us skip more side quests so that we can make the number go up and I think there's also genuinely some materials we can buy that are needed for upgrades if we wanted to do more that get kind of pricey if we buy them in bulk. Yeah, fair enough. Like, I think we can buy crystal from the material shop at Facade, but it's like 3,000 gold a pop. 2,000! Yeah, it's like almost not... It wouldn't be anywhere near worth it if it wasn't for the fact that's such a rare fucking drop. 
Which I think we're good on that anyways. Yeah. I'm surprised you're doing this much. I'd just be blitzing through this shit. This is the method I'm used to, and it's like, it, it gets rid of the turrets with the homing blast, so it's technically less shit to deal with on the long run. It's also just easier for my brain to just keep running forward and do the blast. So anyway, I started blasting. So I started blasting. Just dark rolling the shit out. Pop these for some extra MP. Speed. Speed. Come on. Hey, there we go. And apparently kind of got the fast pass for this ride, so she gets to go ahead of us. Yeah, she's just already waiting there going, man, where the fuck have you been? It's just somehow eating a whole box of popcorn, despite the fact popcorn probably got is that, another thing that did that not survive the apocalypse. She's got that pimento uh, bacon fucking ball. Oh, yeah, there. that thing I was talking about. Yeah, she's just like, kept me waiting. How old is that thing by now? <laughs> she doesn't care. She's just eating it anyways. It's like, it's like blue cheese at that point. Yeah. Well, actually, no, is it pimento made with, like, cheddar or something? No, well, I don't know. I just wanted to make a joke about the cheese rotting to becoming blue cheese. Because pimento is basically, like, a bunch of... Uh, piment what I'm thinking of is basically a whole thing where you take, like, cheese and process it into, like, a soft, almost spread kind of substance yeah, with like, a bunch of, like, peppers and shit. It's, it's and, like, and then you, like, roll it up into a fucking ball for, like, like a party soft dish. like, soft-ass pepper jack. Yeah. With like, uh, like I said, with peppers and shit thrown in. Yeah. That's right. This time we're at, uh, you're at, we're actually going in for this. It feels weird to not be in control right now. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it's like the same thing. It's like, oh man, the shoe was on the other foot, so now I'm showing people how I play, and they're probably noticing differences already. That's going to make them happier and or more angry. It's just like you, you just going, uh taking your time through here where I'm just like a blitz 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 I've done this to a thousand times let's go well we're also locked in here so I have to take my time yeah it's just easier to do it with the homing blasts on those things anyway keep forgetting dark blasts it's just like yeah let me just take everything out for you it, it's look at all these severed cables oh we're never going to be able to hold a fucking evil local what if I wanted to make a data center? What if I what if I wanted to have a big Street Fighter Third Strike uh, tournament at, at my neighborhood? I'm just gonna make myself a fucking Apple One. Kenny's over there like, the fuck's an Apple One? <laughs> Can you eat Apple One? <laughs> if Apple's so good, why didn't they make Apple Two? You joke about that. that it, no, it, believe me, I know that. I know where I'm going Sorry with that joke. Okay. Don't know, don't care. All that matters is that we kill them both. I like how he's so... I, I like how we glossed over this, how he's so in on the whole, no, fuck every shade, fuck literally every shade bit. Even, even the fucking robot has to die by association. I saw a shade ride this robot once. Now I have to kill it and all of its friends. I heard that shade's like sugar. Now I have to dump every single cake I see into the ocean while children cry at me. <laughs> it's right. Just breaks into some random kid's a fucking birthday party after hearing that. Grabs the cake and yeets it out the window. Not even yeets it out the window. Just turns it upside down and smashes it. Rubs it around. Sits on it and looks at the kid dead in the eye and's like, "You will not enjoy the shade thing." Gets up and walks out of the room. Big old cake stain on his ass and everyone's just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Meanwhile, there's just one person seeing it, and they're just like, Oh, that's why they call it cake. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not even just like, Looks You like know what I like the most? Lord, it's cake farts. <laughs> why? No, 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 no. Desist, cease. Look at the shade. Look at this graph. Aim for the legs. Knock it down. Take out the shade. Sweep the legs. Sweep the legs. Man, you got some good hang time with the aerial uh, spear attacks, actually. Yeah. Ugh. No, spear spear is like if you want something in the air to die. That's 
that's the weapon. That's kind of how it is for a lot of games, isn't it? Like, uh, somehow... No, actually. A lot of games, spear is the ground weapon. Really? You got a lot of good ground stuff, but you have a super good dive attack, though. For some reason, it's... I'm, I'm probably thinking of specifically Tales of Vesperia because Judith is, like, the aerial uh, combo character yeah, in that you're, game. Yeah, you're thinking of the Tales series, which has done that frequently, but a lot of RPGs are just like, yeah, spears are not your aerial weapon. Which kind of makes sense because in real life, they're more for, like, just quick jabs and are meant for, like, untrained soldiers and shit. It's like, uh, Trials of Mana specifically, uh, Lise uses hers as, uh, for anti-air in most of the classes. Which is supposed to make sense because she's like the anal the mana analog for a dragoon. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, actually thinking of that, that kind of makes sense why it would be aerial then because fucking dragoons and shit because they're like coming down at you from up or above. Anti air, but yeah. Also, uh, did we ever talk about uh this thing or is this were we actually gonna get an opportunity to talk about this particular situation? Uh, about what regarding BP? Uh, like. It's connection to another uh, automata. I think we might have mentioned it briefly, albeit obliquely, in automata. But just to make it clear, so BP's kind of responsible for a big part of that whole uh, thing. Uh, in short, BP has a self repair sequence that activated even after he gets trashed at the end of this fight, and a lot of his memory was uh, royally screwed up. So he only vaguely remembered Khalil and his wish to see the world, and sort of conflated it with his own. He began passing the sense of uh, self onto other robots within the junk heap, and they basically wound up going crazy and killing themselves if they didn't come around and join him in being uh, actual free thinkers who are able to comprehend the fact that Coca-Cola is actually the better soda compared to Pepsi. <laughs> and uh, after that, they decided to go and bring this knowledge to the world by merging into one collective entity that is co that is known technically as Prometheus, which witnessed yes. The early versions of the androids and the machine life forms fighting together, and it spread this form of self awareness among both of them, as well as its love for humanity, before essentially jetting itself out into space. And this spectacle is viewed actually uh, very heavily paraphrased in uh, Automata as one of those early storybook sections when you go yeah. into the desert when playing as 9S. Yes. And the actual explosion to the machine life forms looked like a volcano erupting, apparently. And uh, it's such a significant thing that uh, you can genuinely tell who actually played Automata start to finish by how well they, or how quick they'll, they'll acknowledge that it's connected. And uh, it is also playing further into what I said before about how Automata is interesting as a sequel because nearly everything except for the aliens, unless that gets proved at some point down the line, is literally tied to the actions or consequences of the actions of the protagonist of this game. Yep. Like, BP self-reviving and becoming Prometheus, that's because we kicked his ass here. Humanity dying off, that's because we killed the Shadow Lord. And what's even more fascinating is, like, there's a high chance that the aliens flat out came to Earth to go, Yo, like, you guys are struggling right now. We need to help you. No, they weren't. Oh, they were full-on invaders. They were full- they were full-on just stock alien invaders, and that's oh. kind of- and that's I, part I thought of it was just- they were like, yo, that shit's fucked up. No, no, they legit came to invade. They're actually described as, like, uh, a bunch of- Like, the machine life forms even outright say, yeah, they're just a bunch of fucking idiots who happen to be good with machines. Fair enough, fair enough. I thought they were just like, yeah, humanity's fucked. We, we should probably step in. No, it's a taro game. Why would you think they would be helpful? That would make the Stupid whole, machine. yeah, the aliens were, ki were killed because killed people thought that the aliens one. were trying to attack and it turns out they were just trying to help. You know, the whole doomed humanity because There's, there's literally a drama CD about Emil fighting off the aliens, remember? Oh, fuck. If it wasn't for the fact that we'd uh, get DMCA'd, I would absolutely would want to do like a stream for that. Well, it's also entirely in Japanese, I think, so there's that. Yeah. Uh, I mean... I'm sure somebody's done a script like they did with the uh, audiobook version of uh, Kisei Monogatari. We might be able to find something. You will forgive me if I seem less than enthusiastic. Which amusingly may be why Christina V is doing voicing for the Monogatari series now in the English dub. Huh. Yes, because they had uh, the English voice for the protagonist uh, on that uh, audiobook, 
and I have been told by a number of people the audiobook makes it a lot easier to understand the books <laughs> because the author of Monogatari really really struggled with uh, writing structure at first hmm. something I still kind of do but I, I like I struggled in a different way where I like detail things out that I feel like I would mistake and it turns out that like no yeah I could safely just not say that like only indicate who's speaking and if the person speaking has changed then explicitly indicate that unfortunately Monogatari has a problem with doing that and it will turn into well uh turns out this guy was speaking this entire time I still highly recommend, uh, even if you watch, even just watching the anime or reading the, uh, the manga that I do know exists. Like, if you don't want to read the light novels, just read and watch the anime. They're, I believe they're, like, bit for bit pretty accurate. It's not hard, it's not hard to get, like, light novels pretty accurate to the franchise. I say as, uh, Spice and Wolf has, like, an entire arc that has nothing to do with the actual fucking books. Hmm. You, you know that, right? The anime has a, like a character that like genuinely has no role or has like an extremely passing role in the light novels. No, because I don't know anything about that series other than the fact that it has something to do with like trade economy and shit. Yeah, it's 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 literally a a uh, a, a waifu novel dis or a trade and economy discussion novel disguised as the waifu uh, series and it's so fucking hilarious. Cause like the only time that you actually get any waifu bait thing going on with uh with uh Holo is when like she's relevant to the scene. Otherwise, it's literally Lawrence dealing with sh with very historically accurate tradey shade deals mm. or uh sh shady trade deals. Tradey shade deals. <laughs> God fucking damn it! No but no no keep it keep it. That still technically <laughs> works. Tradey shade deals. But, uh, because we're dealing with shades. Haha! -ha, it's topical to this game, which is why my brain probably associated that. Uh, why are you doing here? Times being what they are, every resource is important. When I think of how wasteful we used to be. Oh. You say as he says as you literally run up and break a crate in front of him and just walk away from an item. It had a gourd seed in it. Something you'll never plant. separated from my friends that th their quest npc that we uh glossed over why are we talking to these npcs up here we're just killing uh happened. killing time for like the last few minutes i don't know i'm just like i came here looking to see if i could get the giant egg and now i'm just like i don't know because well it, the game's making us go to the forest of myth and we already know there's nothing new there yeah we just we're just gonna we're it, like in a good timing uh i'll just run there to save and then i guess we can end the stream yeah here. like no no just run to the save point i'll uh, go to it and run back here, uh, off stream. Uh, all right, fair enough. See if you can get a, see if you can get the Phoenix Spear upgraded while you're at it. Yeah, you... I'll, I'll do my best. Once your wrists are better, of course. Yeah. Hey, there's the controller back. Okay. Sorry so, for taking it from nah, you. Nah, you're, you're fucking good, dude. I'm like, my, my wrist needed the break. Like, I could do keyboard and mouse, but I can't do controller that well right now. Also, since we do have the soundboard yeah. back, we, we can now officially... Yes, the fart button's back. Yeah, fart with reverb. Fart with reverb. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, as per usual, thank you all so very much for watching. Gonna do the quick shout outs. Lady of Asphodel, thank you for the raid and host. And Lonely Wolfman, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. And Haas00312 underscore. Thank you for the follow. So, as for usual, I'm going to be running the uh, maximum allowed ad time. You are not required to stick around, but it is greatly appreciated if you do because it does help support the channel. Uh, I'm probably not going to be doing any raid rating off uh, on a stream schedule related note. There is going to be a potential for a schedule change when it comes to streaming. Uh, Wednesday is going, it's, is the one that is set in stone. Uh, Thursday and Friday may get moved around. I will post on Twitter and, uh, in the discourse servers that I do link in. 
uh what will likely happen is if thursday has to get moved it'll fall onto monday and the community stream may go on hold indefinitely i'll see what i can do about that if i if i can pull it off on tuesday i'll just make th uh, thursday streams happen on tuesday instead uh it's gonna be confusing for a little bit more or less check check my uh, check for twitter lockwood mocker rock sfw or lockwood mocker rock uh it's all down below and uh yeah and with that uh gonna run the ads if you do not stick around and uh, that is okay because you showing up and interacting with the stream pleases the algorithm gods and that helps get the stream out to, uh to random people more if you enjoy my content feel free to share the link around because like i can't move forward without you know y'all spreading the word anyways thank you all so very much for watching have a good night stay true to yourself i'm gonna run the ad now
Okay, so uh, thank you those who stu stuck around. I won't be doing any raids off today because uh, I'm going to get some stuff solved on my end. And uh, I'm pretty sure, like, everyone's a little bit skittish right now about raids. So I'm going to take the week on the raiding part off. Uh, but if y'all want to check out another streamer, I do believe AKL Trifecta should be streaming here soonish. So if y'all want to check that dude out, feel free to do so. I enjoy his content when I do get to see it, but as of, wow, my computer is being dragon ass. Uh, but yeah, that will be it for tonight. Have a good night, everybody, and stay true to yourselves and see you tomorrow for some more Valhalla. <laughs>